Yo, what's up, everybody? I am Thomas, Dope as Yola, whatever you want to call me. This is the Dope as Usual podcast. I'm here with Marty O'Neill. What's up, folks? What's up? Guys, I'm getting right into it, all right? I'm excited. This is going to be fun. This is going to be really fun, and I know you... We didn't even talk about this yet. Guys, it's uh, Josh and Jacob Wolf. Hello. Hey, hey man. Buddy. Hey, man. Hi. You know, when, I think a couple months ago, I texted you, right? And I was like, hey, man. You did. Let's get sure. fucked up. <laughs> you yeah. were like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I do remember that. Yeah. Are we talking about the seer? Are we talking about what we want what do we want to do in LA? Oh. Are we talking about in general. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah, lot, dude. No, hold on. Where's my phone? Yeah, we were gonna You text me today. I screenshotted this. Yeah. Then I'm like, you know what? It's a good text. So it says, Josh, eleven thirty three AM. How many shrooms are we eating tonight? <laughs> That's it. That's all it said. It's yep. what woke up. Yep. <laughs> and before I knew it, uh, psychedelic shit. I think we should probably figure this out. This is like a holiday. What? It's like a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I get, a I wolf get text from Josh all the time, like, trying to have, trying to trip balls with Thomas on, on <laughs> video. What do you guys Set a date. <laughs> Vlog this thing. Yeah, yeah, man. I just want to make sure we do it right. Yes. But we, but I was telling you earlier, you know, I've the most fucked up on camera I've ever been has always been with you. Mm -hmm. Every be time. Because Every time. I know that when I leave the planet, you can keep things together. Right? A hundred percent. And I there's a there's a good chance I'm gonna leave the planet tonight. Okay. It's okay. Oh, yeah, Dude, yeah, yeah. I did I ate mushrooms on the podcast about a month and a half ago. This yeah. sir, this man did the ad reads because I was so gone. Oh my god, Jesus! I Which show was that? Uh, it's called, it's called the, the Mushroom, Mushroom episode. episode. Oh, I might have to listen to that. I might. Have, <laughs> we're gonna listen. Were you to by that. yourself? It was it, the two of you. It yeah, us. it was just uh, us. Were you Shrooming? No, I was. He had to drive yeah. home. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh no! Got real, got yeah. Real slippery towards the end. Yeah. <laughs> I had to end it short. I'm like, um. All right, let's stop because I can't even do this anymore. Because I realize, like, oh, I'm gonna start talking about stuff I don't remember. That's the going. thing. Yeah. Damn. That's Walls why. That's why this dude's here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Just in case. Yeah. This is your son. This is my son Jacob. Hello, yeah. everybody. Just in case. This is my son Jacob. Everybody's like, yo, this, who is this man? Yeah, yeah. yeah this, is my, this, this is my son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you think son like a kid. Yeah, that's a full grown man. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. a grown up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is weird to have a grown up as a child. Like, it's really bizarre for me because I got to tell you, like, sometimes I'm like, I forget how old, how old I am. I get it. And then this grown up walks by me. I'm like, oh, that's my fucking kid. Holy shit, uh, dude. Oh, I understand. My little brother is 17. He just graduated. looks like you. People tell me all the time. And I'm like, what? You're driving? I call me. You're driving? Oh, call me back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You're old now. Shit. Yeah, it's so weird, weird, right? Oh. It is been and, but now he and I he's not going to shroom tonight because he is also the designated driver. Indeed, I am. You should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. He, I, I knew it was needed. Uh, desperately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is going to be desperately needed. But I, I don't know. Have I ever been high on shrooms in front of you? Yes. What? You want me to tell you when? Yeah. I oh 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 when you were at my house. No. Can I tell you when the last time you were high on mushrooms in front? Oh oh oh. You ready? I know when. Oh okay. I also. Do you know when? Know when? Oh, I yeah, know. I was there. Right? Nope. Oh no no no. The last, last recently. I can't remember what we were doing, but you were hanging out with us, and you said, "I forgot. Jake has a baseball game, <gasps> softball game." And oh, I'm like, my. "I'll take you. I don't want you to Uber tripping." And I remember I looked looking in the rearview mirror. <laughs> Halfway there to look at Rosie, I was like, and you're doing this. Dude, that was the last time I was here. Mid yep. I was, I was, we, we filmed a, an episode that you, I don't know. Oh, we filmed a podcast yes. episode and then you're and high then, live. That's right. That's what yeah, happened. And, yeah, I, yeah, and yeah. I sat in the stands next to your girlfriend who I had just met. First time. First time. You, you don't remember what you said. No. 
You did great. You did great. We're you right. actually didn't spill the beans on me on anything. Like you were like, oh, I don't want to embarrass him the first time meeting oh, you. Good for me. Did you watch his specials? Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know, one of the forty million views on Yeah, that's also a great point. Like. Yeah, I was like, you know, you could just go I Google. Watch. <laughs> yeah, just go on YouTube and type in Josh Wolf, and you'll know everything. Yeah, she was like, no, that's not fun. I want the stories he doesn't tell, and I go, he tells oh, every yeah, single yeah. fucking what story. Stories don't I tell? Yeah. What did I? T- what did I say that you? You ready? Yeah. You did. This. Wait, you drove me there. I yes. Drove you, there. you were doing this number mid sentence, and I went, "I'm not going to even ask him what he was talking about because he doesn't remember." And then, like forty seconds later, you go. I was off the planet for a minute there, man. <laughs> I went, don't worry, man. I know. And then we get there and you're like, I'm 15 minutes away. And I can see in your eyes, you're like, like when the when the when the when the dad gets lost to the beast and beauty and the beast, like, oh shit. There was a forest, and you can see him like, oh I'm like, don't worry, we're not gonna make you stay out by yourself. Like, I really appreciate you waiting with me. Oh my god. Yes. You pull up and you go, It's the first time I meet his girlfriend. Fuck. <laughs> and then you get out and you left. <laughs> that was the end of it that I know. Yeah. Yo, uh, I do remember. Actually, you know what I remember thinking? This is what I do remember that night. I remember thinking because I, I didn't want to be out at that park in the valley by myself. Fuck. I remember thinking to myself, Thomas is such a good friend for not leaving me here by myself. <laughs> like, <laughs> I couldn't do it to Yo, you. Yo, dude, that is right. And I was sitting in the stands trying to keep it together and watching him play softball. That must have been terrible. It was difficult. It was really, really difficult. But I think, I mean, I, I didn't embarrass myself. Here, you can go first. No, go lucky it. a fucking fall you ball didn't come at you. Oh, dude. Oh, man. I don't know why that baseball field surrounded with scary Arctic, I mean, Arctic, ancient trees. Dude. It was scary. I'm cool. Thank you. It was real life fucking uh, Wizard of Oz. Like they're going to throw <laughs> apples at me and shit. I would never be able to go to the forest again. Do you think I was higher that night <coughs> or that first night? Uh, definitely the first night. Mm. Yes. The first time I met you. That was the first time we yeah, the met. the first time we met, yeah. But you know what? Here's a crazy thing. I'm going to tell you the truth. From watching you online before you came, I knew, I knew we had never met, but I was like, I feel, and with Marty being there too, I was like, I feel totally comfortable being incredibly high in front of this dude. <laughs> like, I, I, I was right away, I knew, I was like, oh, I'm going to like this dude a whole fucking lot. Yeah, and we, and that was also a night you flew the plane for a little while. For a long yeah. time. <laughs> you were so fucked up, your wife came, you good? <laughs> From the top. <laughs> Wait, he's, he's fine, nice to meet you. <laughs> Yeah, and that's the night you found out I don't I don't use water when I swallow pills. Yeah, I saw that too. You're a f- you know what he told me the other month? What? He walked up to me and goes, "Just I guess how we started a conversation. Hey, I think I'm just going to start not not using any liquid when I swallow pills for the rest of my you life." You text we randomly talked recently and you said that about it. Like, what uh, the fuck like, is wrong with this? First man? of all, who the fuck starts a conversation like that? Like, raw dog, babe. No, raw dog. Raw, raw dog. dog. No. <laughs> I'm raw dog. dog in those pills. No, yeah. no. That sounds like, like people choose sounds, to go vegan. Yeah. <laughs> He's raw dog yeah. vegetables. <laughs> yeah. I've been thinking. I've you know what? Changes. You know what? We're having a water shortage. I'm gonna do my part. The fuck <laughs> I'm not gonna swallow pills. I don't know why. I just was decided no more water with pills. Even be- my wife looks at me like, "What is fucking uh, wrong with you?" I decided yeah. I'm just not going to chew no. food. I'm just going yeah, to go just for it. Straight Pelican up style. Gullet, <laughs> Pelican <laughs> style. They should serve that at in and out Pelican style. That's a nice t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Remember that old ass cartoon where that guy's eating sandwiches? Yeah. <laughs> or like in Coneheads. Yo, mm-hmm. Pelican oh style is straight. <laughs> yeah, because you know exactly what we're talking about. By the way, Pelicans are dinosaurs. There's they eat birds whole. whole. 
that's I a di- that's a straight up dinosaur. 100%. If it was three times as big as it is now, we everyone would be scared. like, "Yeah, I'm scared of that. That's gonna swallow me whole." That fucking dinosaur. Uh, I mean, there's still alligators. Motherfuckers get eaten all the time by dinosaurs. Alligator is a dinosaur. A hundred percent. Yeah. Cro- alligator, crocodile, crocodile. That's a anything that hasn't changed. They just lived. <laughs> because <laughs> do you know what I mean? Because they're like, no, we're good. Don't you want to evolve? No, I'm pretty. Oh, feel pretty good in here. You know what I mean? <laughs> They <laughs> we were in the water, bitch. We yeah. were doing yeah. <laughs> No, we're doing the same shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, those dudes and sharks, I don't think have changed too much. Do you guys you guys like the water? Do you get in the ocean? No, I do not. I, I do. You're scared. Yeah, I, don't fuck with the surf. I don't get in the water. Yeah. No, I don't, I, I don't the, surf, but I definitely I get not. in the water. I won't fuck with okay. the water. But definitely ocean. get in the water. Anything I can't see through, I'm that, not that's it. with it. That's it. That's I don't it. even get in lakes. I'm cool. Dude. To, to I get on lakes in certain areas when, like, in areas where you know there's not no, going to be no, a crocodile. No, no. There's no, happening. no. There's if they murky water out, if, yo. If I can't see my feet, that's I've seen it. Creep show, yeah. And I know things pop out the fucking water. Dude. Pull you back in, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm yo, good. I did a show on Discovery called it was Shark After Dark during Shark Week, right? What a name! It, and it was a, oh, it was so an after fun. after they did all the shark shows. It was a late night talk show based around sharks. <laughs> so awesome. They. They were like, do you want to swim with sharks? In real life? Mm-hmm. Did you say yeah? I feel like you did. Mm-hmm. <coughs> so, I never, I, I don't swim well. I've never been in a scuba suit. I've never had flippers on before. Oh, man, yeah. I've never snorkeled. I also get these things called um, um, cluster headaches. You know what those are? Dude, I, that's what I started getting last year. They Cl- suck dick. Oh, dude, cluster headaches are, and, and there isn't like a pain medication that works. No. I got the needle. How did it do? The guy didn't tell me he was going to stick it in my fucking head. He's like, what about this? I really don't like needle. I went, ah! I feel better. All right, fuck you. Yo, wait! I got the needle in the head? Shot. Oh, fuck you. A needle in the uh, head? To the temple. To the temple. That seems, if it, it placed took my wrong, cluster very headaches dangerous. Away right away. Let me ask you something right now. What, what at the top of your head, seems like it might hurt more. Needle, bottom of the foot. Oh, needle underarm. Oh, underarm. 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 I go underarm too, I I'm think. I'm going underarm. Yeah. They can at least flex it out a little bit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the foot, you're just, you're just vulnerable, man. That bottom of the foot. I when watched your sister take a huge needle to the bottom of the foot. I was For there. She, she, I was there. She got a big piece of wood stuck in her foot. What does that have to do with it? Well, they needed to take it out. Why did they stick a needle in there like that? To numb it. Hey, it was that numbing shot. And then, oh. gonna, and then they were going to tweeze it out. Yeah, that was brutal. <laughs> I had to help hold her down. How yeah. old was she? She's feisty. Yeah. She, <laughs> she was seven? No, oh, no, you seven. were... Oh, so if you were around seven, so she must have been around ten. I Something don't like that. Yeah, yeah. I, you don't like needles? I, I've had a lot of, I have a lot of stories yeah. about needles. Uh, I used to walk into the office and they would be like, Thomas is here. Because they know... Like I said, I used to be, str- I mean, I'm strong. I used to be a fucking freaking ancient. When I was like 10, I could deadlift like 200 pounds as a kid. Don't know why. My dad used to make me lift weights when I was a kid. He was fucking dumb. <laughs> anyway, the first time they tried to give me a shot, I threw this fucking doctor to the ground. No. And he looked at me like, what the fuck was that? And my mom's apologizing. He brings a nurse in and like, do you think she's going to hold? Well, get off. <laughs> Two nurses, the doctor, nothing. They had a janitor come sit on my hips. And hold me up my ass down. I once got stuck in the in the window when the doctor went to get the needle because I tried to escape out the fucking the window. That's hilarious. Got stuck and then put the needle mark right. stuck in the window. I would have stuck it right in your. Uh, he he got me. Yeah. My mom helped. My mom's a dick. Fuck you. You know you're watching too. I don't like needles. Sorry. Don't. Like needles. <laughs> Joe Diaz used to pass out. Really? Yeah. I almost passed out last year. He would. He used to pass out. Scary, I think it's gotten better since he had his daughter. But since he had his daughter, he had to toughen the fuck up, dude. <laughs> let me. That's for real. Yeah. Let me tell you something for real. There are a bunch of things that I was scared of, and as soon as I had kids, I was like, I can't be scared of these anymore, because, because I, I can't pass it down. That and you can't be like, oh, oh, yeah, oh. I can't. I can't see. I can't have them seeing me react like that. Now, yep. I will say, I do scare easily, and I do jazz hands. Oh, dude! <laughs> if you get them, it's a it's a jazz hand. It's, 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 yeah, it's a jazz hand, and it's this and it's this noise. 
God. Like, it is, like, embarrassing. I can see that. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you just did it. Yeah, was, <laughs> I did just see it. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I will tell you. You did an example. But it, it comes from, like, I grew up with three older brothers. So I was scared. All the time. Relent, yeah. And they were always hiding behind things. And so, like, I didn't always jazz hand, but they kind of beat it into me. Do you know my oldest brother used to, like, to scare me because I'd go, ah, right? Like this. But then he found that when he punched me in the chest, I made this noise. <sighs> so if he, if he scared me and then punched me in the chest, I made this noise. <sighs> and he was like, you sound like a donkey. <laughs> so he yeah. would scare me and punch me because it made him laugh. The noise made I mean, him laugh. That's, that is pretty funny. It, it is, is pretty, pretty funny. funny. Yeah, yeah. Pretty I'm funny. not going to lie. Human sound <laughs> Human yeah. sound board. Let's go beat the shit out of our little brother. <laughs> There's no video a- games yet. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably what it was. <laughs> I remember one time my, um, my brother pulled a knife on my other brother and my friend was over and my, my brother picked my friend up and put him in front of him. And I was like, you, I think you might've told me. Did I tell you that? Yeah, yeah. I think so. That sounds so familiar. I could be wrong. Yeah. I could be wrong. The human shield. I think yeah, he human shielded him. The human shield. Yeah. He human shielded him. I think we did talk about this. That's yeah. fucked up. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's not great. Oh, but, question. Yeah. Have you ever had to beat the shit out of him as a child? Nah. Nah. No? I always thought, like, I can't see Josh going, go to your fucking room and smack the shit out nah, of you. Nah, nah. I can't see that. It's not, it wasn't my style. Yeah. And, and by the way, I, I, look, it wasn't my style. I didn't have a kid who I ever thought, I'm just going to need to beat the shit out of this. Yeah. Guy. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I, I mean, I don't, but I get it. Like, 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 uh, for me, it didn't suit my style or my kids. Did any of your kids really test you over and over and over and over again, though? Yes. Marty's like, can you give me some advice? <laughs> yes. 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 But I thought, here, can I tell you honestly what I thought? Uh-huh. I felt like part of the problem we were having was trust. And I felt like if I was physically violent, that that would not help the trust. That somebody who hits me, yeah. I don't trust. I can't. I'm it's scared not. of that person. I'm not, I can't. It's hard for me to trust that person. So it was a specific issue. And um, for me, I was like, this is not going to be productive. I, I need to keep, show, the, show this little person that no matter how many times they test me, I'm, I'm here. Now, did you blast any teenage boys along the way having a daughter? That's Did a I, real fucking issue. Hold uh, on, I don't know. Punch. Let's say punch. No, I never. Yeah, no, 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 it's not a, yeah, okay. It's it's fucking insane. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, the streets are real out here. The streets are real out here. Josh is murking fucking teenagers. <laughs> the fucking the, the the crime rate dropped in Tennessee <laughs> when he left. And it's always rising in Vegas, but that's why he's in Vegas. Yeah, that all makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> no, the the only the only person I ever had to talk to. Was this twenty-one-year-old dude who was hanging around with my daughter when she was eighteen, but she was still in high school? And my weird. my issue was, and he was like, "She's eighteen. I'm like, and in high school. So when she leaves high school, you guys, I can't stop you from talking. But she lives in my house, and in my house, these are these rules. And my teenager who's in high school doesn't date twenty-one-year-olds. That's weird. I, I for you." That's I mean, it. As a 21, because you're a guy and you're yeah. 21 and you're like, I can't go to high school to I pick up my girlfriend. Pick my girl from high school, man. I, I, this is pedophile Yeah. Dude. I feel yeah. awkward. Yeah, I Sorry it. for everyone out there in yeah. the same situation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two dudes just looked at their friends. Like, Mark. He's talking right to me. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking to my soul. This is the moment. <laughs> so hold on. Have you. Ever had to beat the shit out of somebody because of him? Now that's a question I want to hear. I'm I, at school, but I don't like your dad's comedy. Well, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. No, no, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm just kidding. No, but. there was never a situation where like I had to do anything for people. I just was told to shrug it off, and I learned that from an early age because there were jokes about me. But also, you know, it it didn't matter what they thought. Oh, when did you find out that these jokes are about you? <laughs> oh, I would tell you. I would. I was in on it early. Yeah, I would run it by. Here's the deal, I would run it by him. I'd be like, "What do you think about me telling this story?" And he'd say, "I don't. I don't want you to tell it." I'd be like, "Okay, I'm, let me check back in with you in about six months." And so there, that the dick pic story, 
He did not want me telling that story. Uh, That's where the fresh J's came from, boy. No. <laughs> 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 You know what he did say, dude? That might, it might be one of the funniest fucking things, though. <laughs> he was talking to me. He was like, hey, about, hey, can I borrow some money? And I was giving him this whole lecture about being responsible and all, and all this stuff. And he was like, let me ask you. He said, aren't most of your jokes about me? I go, yeah. He goes, so I'm the indirect breadwinner of this family. I was like, God damn. damn. Yeah. Well, I don't think that's, that's not, not true. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm not wrong. You're a writer. You're, t- you're a writer. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you're a reality writer. You're a fucking showrunner. So before I get fucked up and forget, and we, we keep going into random tangents, please tell me about your guys' show. Oh. Because that is fucking awesome that you guys are doing it together. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Funny. We do a podcast called Hey Man. and How many A's? Three, three A's. A's. <laughs> three A's. And uh, it's really, look, there's some of my favorite stuff is, you know, he admits things to me that I didn't know. Yo, he admitted... He was like, remember, he was like, you know, I walked in on you and mom once. I go, what? I go, how old was you? I thought, you're thinking he was going to say like seven or eight. He was like 17. I was like, oh, no. Yeah. That's so yeah. different. That's so different. That's so, <laughs> different. <laughs> That's a good way so different. Uh, uh, That's ter- terrifying. Yeah. yeah. Terrifying. <laughs> but I didn't need to hear it on a fucking live stream. Do you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. He told stream. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just he decided to yeah. drop it. Well, you know what? She's learning from you. Yeah, dude. Uh, it's okay. Content. 100%. It's, it's good. And so he talks to me a lot about, you know, uh, uh, stories that I didn't know. Um, we have a lot of, so we, I get a lot, there's a lot of me, I tell stories about him also. A lot of people like that shit. Um, but what I really like is like, look, man, we come from completely different generations. So my scope on what good hip hop is and what his on what good hip hop is or mine on who the greatest basketball player is and him thinking it's LeBron James, which is fucking bananas. So LeBron and where are you going? Michael Jordan. Okay. And so like, but like it, there's, there is something for everybody because we tell a lot of family stories that are embarrassing and funny, but also look, there are people who are closer to my age who are going to agree with me. And there are people who are closer to him his age who are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> They'll understand one day. Yeah, 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 yeah right. Dude, it fucking went through my brain and came back. What the fuck did you just say? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm really high. <laughs> I didn't really smoke that much. But it's fun, man. And he's funny. We have a good time. Yeah, he's and he's funny. He is like funny. That. He's funny. He's and he's quick and he can insult me in a way because he knows things about me that that nobody else can. And he does little things. Like one of my favorite things to do is just to do tiny things to bother people, <laughs> just re- repeatedly. <laughs> it's the worst. It, I mean, one of it's my f- the fucking worst. Like, I, for I just I, you know, he's going to Coachella, right? And he hates the fact that I call it Coachella. Uh, why? And because he Wait, thinks. How do you say it? How do you say it? Coachella. Well, how do you say it? Coachella. So he hates it. Right, so, that's a subtle thing that'll drive you fucking insane. Yeah, it drives, him, it drives him absolutely nuts. So, oh, you doing a burn? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he only says he only says Coachella. He doesn't say Coachella. Oh, Coachella. And every time he sees me, he makes sure he says it. Every time we're on the phone, he's like, because it hasn't come up yet. So every time we talk, he's like, "You excited for Coachella?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I love." Yeah, it. I'm super excited. So I love doing those little things <laughs> to bother people. But he is the only person who knows my shit and will do it to me. So he does that shit to me on the podcast. It's a lot of fun, man. It's one. Mm. Give me one. And the repeat thing. Yeah, it's just you know repeating what he says. He repeats like, a he'll repeat a question, like I didn't, like he didn't hear me. Like it'll be like, hey, hey, dude, is your is your smoke out? Yeah. Is it out? Yeah. You know, he's asking you the actual question. <laughs> it, is it out? What do you mean? Is it out? He's saying, are you going to repeat it? He's trying to give an example. So I just well, asked you that like four <laughs> times. Hold on. I just asked you that four times. Oh, that's what the example yeah, was? That's what I do. I, that, I just that, bother him. No, that honestly didn't even bother me. I thought I was so high. I wasn't even <laughs> yeah. answering the question. But right. like, my friend OG. So like. <laughs> so, so, he does it unintentionally. So like we, but we know that shit about each other. And, and so it's just a good time, man. It really is. It's. Josh is such a good actor. He just confused. He got everybody. me. He just confused the fuck out of <laughs> he, me. Right he now. just got I, I, all three of us. A method motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I practice being an ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Highly trained in the arts. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What episode what are, you, are you guys on? 
What uh, eighteen? What do you think about? It? I mean, I love it. It's just you know, it, it's a fun, it's a fun spot for us to just be able to get our tell our story and tell it in different ways because you know there are some episodes where we do just fuck around with each other and it's it's a fun episode. Uh, the one we filmed today was just weird, like random. Like we, there was no topics. We just jumped in on one thing and just let it ride for like forty minutes. Today's the first time I'm trying that. Yeah, because I know you guys pretty well. I'm like, I don't need no notes. Let's just talk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but that's what that's what people who like each other do. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, I've you never know, done it before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. That's what people who like each other do. And so that's why I think this is it's also fun to listen to because obviously we genuinely like each other. Yeah, I and, would hope so. And can I tell you mo and secretly, he he's never heard me say this. But at his age, to have this amount of bonus time with your kid is like I can't it's my favorite thing all week. It's yeah, I, I I could see why. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's definitely so, fun. It's definitely a good time. And, I mean, it's cool that you're like, I'm hanging out with my dad, but, you know, it's not what you're thinking. Yeah. Right. It's different. No, exactly. Your yeah. Such <laughs> your fucking weed dealer that came over. He <laughs> <laughs> just stayed for a bit. He's <laughs> 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 eating mushrooms? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <Yo. laughs> so, you're on episode 18. On episode 18. What episode is it there? What, what is, it, is it like a scheduled every? Well, it will be now that he's back from Panama. So you're in Panama, real quick. Yeah, doing the Netflix show. Yeah, I was in Panama doing a Netflix show, which was pretty dope. I mean, did you um, bump Panama while you were there? Uh, I, I would have been on the plane. Like that's what I would have done. That's that kid. I fucking. Dropped. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know anything about country. <laughs> so how was it? It was. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was great. I mean, we was there for six weeks, and it was it was six, uh, fucking weeks. six weeks. So it was it was great for the first three weeks, and then I was like, all right, I'm I'm ready to go back. Like a lot so, of banana leaf stuff. Yeah, there have seen some crazy things. Like there were some insects I thought I'd never seen in person. There were some, yeah, there were some monkeys. There was we were pretty much in an isolated part of a peninsula where there were two resorts, and then the rest of it was just uninhabited jungle. And you had to like, there was like a restaurant like 15 minutes down the street. But other than that, to get into the city, it was like a 30 minute drive. And so it was just like, we were not remote. That's fucking, I would call that the but, definition. Yeah. But, but we were, we were, we were pretty much remote. And it Did was, you like the show? I mean, I had fun. Okay, I mean, that's all that matters. I mean, I was there for, that's cool. I was working 60 hour weeks. And so I was invested in the show that we were filming. And I was like, that's well, fun, man. Sure. This is fun. Yeah. I'm excited to see how it turns out. Dude, Definitely. at your age, to be able to go to Panama what? to That's fucking how work. 25. Come on, man. man. It was it was dope. It was definitely an experience. Yeah, I mean, li listen. I would definitely like, go back for a vacation. It, dude, oh. if you think about at your age, what you've already been able to do. You know, over quarantine, when everybody else was locked down, this dude was doing a reality show for Amazon in the national forest. So he was just outside in this... Everybody else Ooh. was stuck. Stuck inside. This dude was in Zion and all the these beautiful forest. fucking places. Right? And so he, you, you've had some... Wow. Yeah. How, how'd you get into that? How did you get into a Netflix like working on shows? Um, I think my first foot in the door was uh, this oh, guy, yeah. obviously. And so the first show, I mean, I technically ever worked on was the Josh Wolf show. The summer That's of 2015. Right. And I was like, they're like, yeah, we'll just put you on the payroll. Fucking and you we'll were just, PA. You, you a, did a little bit of everything. Yeah. You were on at least one show a week, weren't you? I was there five days a week. But, I came in with you. No, you were on. He's weren't not, you? Oh, 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 high, oh, yeah. oh. Like on the yeah, show? Weren't you on? I drove in with you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You, you brought me to the gym at 6 a.m. every yeah, morning. Yeah, I made him go to the gym. Yeah. Every but, but you, uh, you were, uh, weren't you on... Yeah, of, yeah, I was on <laughs> I was on the last episode, which was dope. I was on the panel. Like I was like one of the three seats. So that was super cool. That was awesome. Um, to but be able to do. you also made me dress up for Fourth of July as Uncle Sam and do three cartwheels on stage. Mom, and then, I could see that. And yep. then yep. High five you, you and walk off. No, it, it was fun. You um, did catch a paintball to the mouth. Uh, a paint balloon, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's different. A uh, paint. <laughs> I thought you meant yeah. like someone shot you in the fucking no, mouth. No, no, I threw it. Well, look, what the fuck happened? Yeah. <laughs> he actually. Hold on. Not only did he throw it at me, let me just clarify. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> let me clarify. He not only threw it at me. He strapped me to a board 
and threw multiple at me. <laughs> oh, you signed up for this. <laughs> I thought I you were like walking, got popped in the I mouth. Know. You, I did not yeah, sign yeah, up. No, no, we know. ran it by him first. I, yeah, I, mean, you know. I got signed up to stand there, not get strapped. Well, I, I, I thought you'd try to move out uh, of the way. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, it, I was throwing him, right? And um, I threw one as he was opening his mouth. And it oh, went a, lo- a large one. A balloon went right into his mouth, and I have it on slow motion. I think I have it on my phone. Yeah, I, I if you actually do, send it to Mario. So I throw it know I have it on my phone. Okay. I hope and you, you do. can slow motion see it go in, and then you slow motion see a because I just spit it out. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was wearing. <laughs> We we were both dressed up in old old like, time baseball, baseball suits, uniform. And I had on. Oh, I've seen this yeah. picture. And I and I yes. had yes. a catcher's helmet on, or a mask on. And so when he threw it, it hit me right in the center of the mask as I said something. Yeah, and it hit me so. right in the mouth. Exactly. And it and, and he just. I, and I spit it out, and he walked up, and he was like, "You okay?" And I spit out again, and I was like, "We're done. Yeah, we're done. That we're was, done. That was the last balloon. Yeah. We're done." Boy, boy, that's that man. You never want to have to say that. That was the last balloon. We're done. <laughs> yeah, that, that could. Yeah. Yo, whippets that, are that popular could, now. That, that, that could mean a lot of things. Mean, yeah. yeah, yeah. Whippets are mad popular Dude, for some reason. You know what? When I was in Philadelphia, have I told you the story that they they had this nitrous mafia? Was it Philly or De- what is that? Was Detroit? Mean? No, Philly. So they would, and I may be a little high, but I think that it's called the Philly Nitrous Mafia. And they have tanks, and they wait outside of concerts. It's in LA. They do that. They here. do that here. Heavy and so and backpacks. So and so, like we were walking outside of the comedy club, and there was just a wall of fucking zombies. Just and so, you know, when the cops come, they open the tank and they kick it down the street. <laughs> and so, by the time the cops get there, it's empty. It's empty. So they can't. So it's like. <sighs> It's empty it, beer bottle? Yeah, yeah. I wasn't drinking. It's so it's crazy. But um man, they when they knock, they they were at the end of this long alley type street, and they just kind of knocked the cans together, the canisters. People come running and oh. they just get the zombies just kind of fucking How fucking disgusting. Walking dead it over to that them. Is, you clink bottles to like dogs when you fucking dinner bells? Yeah, that's what it is. Oh God. You know, question. I don't think we've ever talked about this. Did you ever fuck with different drugs when you were younger as a kid? Um, I fucked around with ecstasy. Okay. I like the. Uh, I like you're like a mother. PTA. Yeah. That's how you look at your hand on the hip. Um, I, I am not. I never liked Coke. I mean, I, and I tried it, I gave it a shot. I gave it a shot. I did. I gave it. I like gave it's it a religion. I mean, I, I tried. <laughs> I gave it its fair shake. Me. Not for me. Yep. You know what it made me do? It made me sh- sit in a corner and shut up. Oh, it did the opposite effect. For it you. had the complete opposite effect on me. Yeah, that's not your personality. I, that's I just, not fun for him. No. And I tried meth once by accident. <gasps> tell me. Tell me. Tell me how. <laughs> Yo, so I got a meth store too. It, well, I'm putting I, this on the table. Yeah. This is too fucking much. Sorry, guys. I yeah, love no your lean and then shit. Yeah. There we go. Better. Um, this dude bought what he thought was Coke. Was it your uncle? No. <laughs> that's what happened to me. Yes, it is. Exactly. Sorry, keep going. No, what happened? That's exactly what happened. We thought, he thought he bought coke, and it was fucking god. Well, it was crack. It was crack. But it, this was meth. I've never done crack. Not fun. And let me tell you, neither is meth. It was uncomfortable. It's the only. So we were so. You know that film of sweat you get over your body, but mostly your gross face. It's the hard drug sweat. Yeah. I know that feeling. It is not attractive. And so it's the only time I was I was holding a gin and tonic. It's the only time ever at a strip club that a strip when I asked a stripper for a dance, she was like, no. Oh <laughs> yeah. you know you're doing bad. <laughs> she was like, no. No. Yeah, no. Nah. It's just as like it was it was real dismissive. She too. looked at you and went you're on one. Yeah, she I don't was want to like, dance with you. <laughs> no. And I was like, huh. Well, yeah, yeah I, I, Dinosaur I, arms away. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, my jaw was probably like, oh, I wonder what's wrong with her. <laughs> Looking like Fire Marshal yeah, Bill. Yeah, exactly. 
<laughs> I wonder why she said no. I don't understand. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> jawing it up. Oh, man. I accidentally smoked meth. I was 14 with this fucking girl. I thought I was smoking weed. And there was meth on it. And it fucking ruined my whole night. Yeah, dude. What it happened? Was t- I, just, I was drinking gin. Did you say gin? Uh-huh. I was drinking gin. First time I ever tried gin. I was fucking 14. And I just started projectile throwing it up because I was spinning. But I was on one. I didn't like the feeling. Yeah. Meth is disgusting. Yeah. Don't do meth. No, yeah. <laughs> Don't do it. You but get shorter. So ecstasy. You lose an inch. Mushroom. That's ecstasy, mushrooms, acid, weed. I'd love to try DMT, maybe. It's I, I'm not ready for the commitment yet. I'm not. I'm really? Not, nope. I don't think I'm like <sighs> how much time do I have to recover? But you but they say it's zero recovery. No. <laughs> I'm going to be dwelling on shit for about a day and a half. Like, oh, God. I already know Yeah, myself. maybe no physical recovery. Have you ever the done it? Recovery. No, fuck no. I just barely did mushrooms the other day. Oh, oh Marty <laughs> did mushrooms. <laughs> you haven't been here. Marty fucking took mushrooms finally. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah How, but we've been over it in great detail. How many yeah. grams did you take? That's up for debate. It was like a half a chocolate bar. Which and is four grams. Of fucking supplement pills. Because the chocolate bar didn't do dick, so then I was like... No, it did. No, it definitely yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So what, what we're talking you. like maybe three and a half? Marty ate like maybe a four grams, maybe a little more. Facts. Your first jump in. That's a full... No, he, I gave him three grams the day before, because they hadn't and it working. didn't do shit to him. And then, what? Yeah, me and April didn't together. April started tripping off the fucking two or three of the little pills, and then I was sitting there. I got frustrated. We were off the half a chocolate bar. Then I, I had some of the pills left, and then it fucking kicked in, and it was amazing. It's it pretty great. great. Yeah, it was it's awesome. pretty fun. Yeah, it's pretty great. I All was right. chilling. Like there was no bad. There was nothing weird about it. It was just very visual, and mm-hmm. I was just like bursting out in laughter. Yeah, and yeah. You know, that's by the way, that's like anytime anybody says anything negative about mushrooms, I'm like, you've never done it. <laughs> you've never <laughs> never tried. Are you remember. telling me that the funnest thing in the world is not fun? Is that what you're trying to <laughs> tell me? Yeah. <laughs> that the best thing is not the best thing. Is that what you're trying to say to me right now? That seems a little weird. Uh, no, because you'll always get, here's when you know somebody's never done mushrooms. Yeah, I had one real bad trip. No. Nah, you had one? Yeah. The you, first time? You, you quit at one? That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I drink a beer, it tastes funny. Yeah. I don't drink it anymore. Uh, all right. It's also like, do you know like when you do it, Sometimes do you ever do, do you ever do them for different reasons? Like sometimes I'll do it like where I'm like I want to solve a problem. And no. I'll, oh, dude, I you're do. different. Our last guest was a fucking expert. Was an expert in psilocybin, essentially. Really, and he explained some crazy uh, ways of taking shrooms. It, 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 does, so does did what I just say make any sense to That's you? That's what he does. He's like, I have different intentions for different things. That's so what I've funny. been doing. Whole, it's called the lemon tack. The lemon Dude. technique. Bro, he, he grinds the nut, mushes da- mushrooms down an eighth. Yeah. And squeezes lemon juice on it and lets it mix. Because <clears throat> the acidity is like our stomach, so it starts to break down. So when you drink it, it hits you fast as fuck, he said. Because it's like you ate them. <laughs> doing that next. Isn't that crazy? Interesting. Isn't that in, like, interesting? I'm doing that next. I mean, yeah. I put it. I put it in a green it's tea. It's got to be fucking better. Yeah, than how do you like? How do you like mushrooms? Uh, I like mushrooms a lot. Yeah, I never, I never had. I like mushrooms a lot. I think mushrooms are great. I've done acid before as well. I never well, tried those acid. Are, those are the only two things. I've I've done some. Never tried it. I've, yeah. I've done some. I did some a lot of acid a weekend. He was out of town. I told you the story. I think. At my house. Yeah, at, oh. at the house. What with, age were you? Uh, 17, sounds 18, right. somewhere yeah. in there. Yeah, sounds cool. And uh, I was up for 52 hours. <laughs> Bomb. Straight. Bomb. By, By the way, that sounds terrible. In a horrible way or in a cool way? Oh, it was... Amazing. Oh, oh bomb. It, oh, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. It was, it was great. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. great. It's awesome. I had a good time. That's a tweaker psychedelic time, though. 52 hours to be tweak or be tripping. Yeah. That was the last time I did acid. I, because it was just like, yo, that was cool and all, but like, I don't really want to also commit 12 hours of my life just to one thing. One That's thing the thing. Right I, there. The last time I took acid, I remember thinking, I wish this was over now. <laughs> I a hate, bunch of times I yeah. hate that dude Yeah When I know I'm having fun And then You know in mushrooms You'll be having the greatest time And then like What's this bipolar switch yeah. I wish I was <laughs> off of this <laughs> Out of nowhere Yeah that's a bummer When that comes That happened to me I did mushrooms in the, For the first time In, in, in uh, the day Like a month ago I Really I never do them in the day I always do them in the dark In my pitch black room And trip the fuck out 
Day's kind of fun, uh, man. Daytime oh, was, it was fucking yeah. vivid. I yeah. liked it Daytime a lot. Was great. You know what? You know what's great? More. Sunshine. I was outside at the at the uh, batting cages and the mini golf. Oh, Castle Park. Sh- Castle Park. Is that what it's called? It's over on Sherman Oaks. In Sherman Oaks. Yeah, Sherman Oaks. Yeah, yeah Sherman Oaks Castle, Castle Park. Park. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's where we I was. Used to, I used to take him there all the time. Yeah, that's where I went. That's where I went. <laughs> yeah. yeah <that's> <laughs> I love the high five. That was the most wholesome. That was the most wholesome. We'll dude, take that. I, yeah, I took him, yeah. and then I didn't drive, and I went to the sandwich spot, and then didn't like it. No, I've never had like a bad trip. It wasn't a bad trip. It was just like a. I don't like any. I want you. I want all these strangers away from me. Yeah. My friends were cool, but I was in the public. Like, oh, the trees. I, I can hear the trees. I have to tell you, if I'm public and I'm tripping, I, didn't like it. I have to be outdoors. 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 Got you. Not in the cities. Nah, Joshua Tree, a, a backyard with a lot of space, with some people. Not that many people. Other people who are high. Be, I would. I love to be able to look at the sky, basically. I loved it. I just tried, like I said, first yeah. time in the day. Wow. Yo, you should go out. Have you gone cool. out to Joshua Tree? I've never been there. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, I've the never been thing. there. I'm, uh, see, this is, people always say, why don't you go do shit? Because my friends travel. Go do this. And like, ready? I was poor, and then I sold drugs. I don't travel. You don't travel. You sell drugs. So you have to sell drugs. Yeah. And then I stopped selling drugs, and I've been doing this. That's why I haven't done anything. That's it. Yeah. That's my whole life up to today. That's so crazy, dude. <laughs> I've never done shit. Oh, you should do a little something. Yeah, I have Don't a schedule think? now. What you, so I can actually like plan things. What's Thomas something you want to do? I'm crushing it now. What's, what's something you really want to do? I have no idea. I've never thought about it. Well, it's so crazy. But what's your hobby? Like, fucking nothing. But, but no. <laughs> I have no hobby. All right, let's spitball a couple places. I watch the I watch Seinfeld. Do you want to do? I mean, that's a good hobby. Yeah, all right. Do you, are hobby. you would you, are you, would you rather go to Europe or South America? Europe. Okay. I want to try Europe. Okay. HHC just got legalized in London, so I want to do a pop up there for our brand. Oh fucking! Oh, shit. It just by the got way, legalized. Shit. By the way, great. Now it's a business <laughs> right off. You know, okay. Yeah. Right. I would go to London. I would go to London's Europe. Great. I would go to Europe. I just. I really hate flying, mm-hmm. and I hate the water. And <laughs> you got to do both <laughs> to get there. <laughs> so it's how like, do you ah. feel? How do you feel about Xanax? I don't like any pills. Mm. I will fuck myself up on the plane. That's fine. Oh yeah, I'll eat the most RSO I ever eaten in my life. <laughs> yeah, but it scares me. Like I, I just have the fear of of flying and open water. I hate them both. Like we talked about earlier, yeah, dude. Fuck that open water fuck bullshit. <laughs> Were we on the podcast talking about alligators or dinosaurs? That was tonight. I that think. was tonight. Yeah, I'm, that was. That's not good for my head. Yeah, dude. That no. was just a few minutes ago, probably. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was. Huh? Was it? Oh, wait. What time are we at? Forty-five. Oh man, that was less than an hour ago. Fuck. It's okay. It's a, whoa. Where's the mushrooms at? Are you gonna eat any? Oh, I don't have any. Oh my god, I had him at my house. I thought you oh my god hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Let's go. Can I throw you real quick. Like, yo, can you bring all those mushrooms on the table? <laughs> yo, if this was like two hundred years ago, we would have to fucking write a letter. You, <laughs> you also should have told me. I didn't, I didn't so know. I didn't know. I didn't know. That's a hundred percent That's my fault. No, hold that's on. my fault. <laughs> Can you bring those mushroom caps? In my, um, they are on your desk. I'm over here talking. We're on. We're literally people on Spotify listening to me, my text. My bad, guys. And I didn't bring my bag. It's okay. What do you need? How, the mushrooms. Okay, we got. We got them. Okay. We got them. They're <laughs> yeah. strong. The caps are very strong. So I would suggest we just eat like two or three, and then we'll see how you feel, and then do some more. But you, you might only eat six. Yeah, you, listen. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick around with you guys. I'm gonna All do right. I'm gonna do what you do. All right. Yeah, uh, because uh, maybe I won't. I'm not real good at that. I don't think you will. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna see pills That's and swallow the bottle. Before <laughs> much. <laughs> it's gonna happen. But these are the ones I ate uh, when I went outside. Uh, when I ate them uh, in the day, these are the same. Uh, they're supposed to be micro. Uh, micro doses, but when you eat eight of them, it's not. It turns into a 
just a regular yeah, dose, dose of mushrooms. It's a macro dose. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. exactly what happened to me. Yeah, but you know what? Like, <laughs> you can always get more. That's my... <laughs> I'm like, why... It's a good attitude. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Yo, what, the fuck what was it, half baked? <laughs> so my father's in prison for four years for some weed. Oh, that must have been the shit. <laughs> <laughs> Is that you, man? Fucking full 60. Like, my dad's funny. He likes mushrooms. He left some out. And he's out of town. So hold on. What's your perspective of this? Of Because you know when you're a kid. I mean, not you. Fuck. You know when you were a kid or you were a kid mm-hmm. and you're, you see... Let's just say, like, damn, that's Adam Sandler's kids. How weird is it that your dad's just like a funny ass fool and people love that dude? So, hey, how do you feel about that? That must be odd. Uh, My dad's cool, but he's a truck driver. I mean, just chilling. I mean, I don't know. It's just always what I've grown up knowing. I get that. Do you know what I'm saying? I get it. So, 16, it's different than when you were seven. Yeah, okay. You're like, my fucking dad's talking about crazy. Oh, that's me. That's my dick pic. Like, when did it turn into, like, you, there must have been a time where you looked at it like, wow, my fucking dad, this is tight. There had to have been that moment where you're like, this is different from when I was a kid, and I know my dad makes people laugh. Now I'm laughing because I get the jokes. Um, you I was, know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would, I would probably say around 18, 18 or 19, right? Yeah. It was, uh, we, we had met uh, someone who was, like, uh, an athlete that I look up to a lot. Oh, nice. And I had met him for the first time, and he walked up to me, shook my hand, gave me a hug, and f- first thing he brought up was the iCloud j- joke, which is the dick pic joke. And and he said, it's my favorite joke. It makes me laugh every time, and uh, it's great to meet you. And I was like, cool. And then we ended up and going and grabbing dinner, and he just you know was just treating me like a regular person, even after that. Some people take it a little far, but like it was just... A moment. It was like one of those core memories, right? Yeah, I get you. And so after that, I was like, yo, you can tell whatever jokes you want. Like, I'm out of it. We're good. I'm out of it. You know, it just happened. I'm, I'm good. Cool. Yeah, I was yeah. Like, I was like, I'm good. Like, I am, I am good. So do what you need to. But it also, mm-hmm. like, inadvertently maybe, but it has taught him a great lesson, which is who gives a shit? Right. Yeah, exactly. Who gives I a shit? That you just said. Who gives a shit what you think? Who gives a shit? It's such a good lesson to learn early. I wish I learned it younger. Do you know what I mean? To be able to be yeah. like, you know, all that is really not real. And who gives a shit? Uh, do you know what I mean? What it's, a bumper stick. Who gives a shit? Yeah. I love that. It goes for anything. But for but like, and I, I would love to take credit for that being the reason that I posted the videos, it wasn't. It definitely wasn't. No. <laughs> I, I know that, and everybody else knows that. <laughs> but you know what, man? We've had a good time. He's been coming on the road with me and um, coming on stage with me some. It's been a lot. Well, of, and, I, I and watch your, we watch your special. We watch your special. Well, no, you weren't in that one. No. No, you I was... In that one. I, I introduced, introduced him me. in the first one. Mm-hmm. Um, the second one was, uh, it was in Tennessee, I believe. Yeah, it was in yes. Nashville. Um, I wasn't in Nashville. Nashville. Yeah, na- that's yeah. what it was. But like, he, yeah, he comes on stage and people ask us questions, ask him what it was like being raised by me. They ask him embarrassing questions about me, which he has some pretty good ones. They ask some stories. Of, they ask just questions about the stories that he tells. Yeah, man. It's a good time. When he comes on stage, it's a good well, time. It's like getting the BTS of your favorite shit. Yeah. With yeah. the person that you're like, yo, so this is the person that's you it. Talking yeah. yeah, that's it. Damn, it's yeah. long hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Long hair. Exactly. Hey, he's, t- he's tall. Yeah, I know. He's Why tall. is he taller than you? Yeah, that's the, my favorite. That's question. his favorite one. Um, but like, we have, we, have a good, we have a good time on there. Yeah, for fucking sure. Absolutely. The first time I ever heard your name, Marty texts me. <laughs> it's like a comedian I work with. <laughs> he texts me, and I'm like, okay, cool name. That's what I thought. I went to the comedy store with my Uncle John, actually, and my Aunt Pepper. And you walked on stage. I heard the name. went, that's the motherfucker Marty was talking about today. I, was like, <laughs> I hope he's funny. 
and I was behind you and you're telling the story about you smoked a joint and drove up a road yeah. and thought you were going to get pulled over or crash or something fucking insane. And I remember thinking, ah, it's the kind of comedy I want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> like, and then I won't say his name, but... <laughs> What's the reaction? What's the reaction of the? <laughs> you like stunned yourself. <laughs> That's like a GTA when they hit the wall. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I remember thinking this is the kind of shit I want to see, and we won't say. But another comedian came up and ruined the whole night, and then the rest of the night happened. But you opened, or no, you were like a third person up. And I just remember thinking. All right, Marty's working with a funny guy. Yeah, I appreciate uh, that. Bro. Yeah, yeah, I, like, I this appreciate that. Funny. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> no. I was like, all right, cool. I was like, hey, that's Marty's guy. <laughs> my that's uncle, the guy. and they had never been to a comedy show, so I brought him, and like, good night. It was a good sh- It's always fun there. The fact Those that lineups are always. Outside, it I made know. my day. Yeah. Like, I smoked a joint outside and walked into the store or into the comedy show. It was fucking fun. I, 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 I. It's such a cool place to be on any given night because the lineups are always A+. 100%. I, I, to be fair, pretty much everywhere in you know the improv and the Laugh Factory, they all get good lineups too, but the store seems to stockpile. I think it's different. I think yeah. that one's seems always like... Them. Yeah. Here. But you're not going to go wrong, really. It's always going to be fun. Yeah. At any three of those clubs. If because there's a been. lot of great comics living in Los Angeles right now. Yeah, 100%. There's so fucking many. Like, it, here's the thing. The reason so many people are getting into comedy is because the people who are the best at it make it look so easy. Ah, uh, that's a good way to put it. Right? So you're like, I can fucking... Bill Burr, he leans on this... Hey, he leans on this just stand. Yells. Leans on this stand he's like he's yelling. just kind of like, "What's going on?" I'm just gonna. I just got a couple things. I'm just gonna run by you. Uh-huh. But <laughs> just <laughs> off my thought, list. You, do you know what I mean? But like, it, it took 20 years of that. But that's what I'm saying. But he. But the the there's so many people doing it at such a high level. It looks easy. I get that. So like right now for me. Look, there's been a lot of times with great comics, but right now for me, I mean, the depth of how many good comics there are, there's no way there's another time. Oh, I totally agree with you. Right now, there's no, you can just type a name in YouTube and you can be 24 hour just going on the funniest shit you ever saw. Yeah. People you haven't even heard yeah. most of the time. Like, who is this person? Fucking hilarious. That's the, I love that shit. It's crazy it right now. It, there's a lot of funny motherfuckers out there. So right now. fucking many. And the best part about it is right now, there's a little bit of everything. The, you, if you are like, I don't like comedy, you're not looking hard enough. There's something in somebody out there. There are, and people are like, I know there are a lot of people who are like, it's too PC. There are some very dark. Oh, those are my comics favorite. out there right now. Every uh, people that make a hundred percent. Oh, fuck! Yeah, are my favorites. Yeah, yeah. The people who make you laugh uncomfortably at uncomfortable things. That's what the point of it is. That's that. Those are like the. Yeah, I think that's the point. Yeah, yo, first, first. yo. So the there, I was saying this to you earlier. For me, Joey Diaz is that guy. I think he's everyone's favorite vulgar as fuck human comp but, comedian but, or not storytelling that fool is funny yo dude for for 15 minutes there's in that or at the comedy store i've never seen anyone do to that room there's a lot i mean and and they're dude not putting anybody down but for me if you were like who's the the fucking most, most raucous you've ever seen in that room for 15 minutes, it'd, it'd be Joe Diaz. Just when he's firing on all pistons, it's fucking. Un- Yo, I talked to him. I was telling him, I talked to him on the phone last night. I My stomach hurt. <laughs> I was drooling. You know, when you're laughing so hard, you're drooling. Yeah, I always feel stupid. <laughs> <laughs> 
fucking babbling. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's coming out of here. But it's like, but it reminds me, I'm having a good time. If I'm drooling and I don't know, like. Is that's, he doing a lot of stand up in New York? No. Nah, none. None? Oh, shit. He's I mean, chilling. maybe he's pop, he might be popping on stage, but I don't think he's. I never heard of him before, like four years ago. And I went to the comedy store and they introduced this guy. I went, I know that. Is that that mother? Was he in basketball? I'm like, what if yeah. I know this guy? He was in basketball. Yeah, I watched it a lot. I'm like, I know that face. And then he talked about tucking stuff in his dick skin. And I went, yo, uh-huh. this is the funniest motherfucker I might have ever seen in my life. <laughs> and he just kept going. Uh-huh. I wasn't ready for that. Kind of, I didn't know. People just go hard. Like I mean, there's but you you know there's vulgar comments. That's a different level. Yeah, but 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 Whoa. but you know, here's and this is a tip of the hat to Joe and why he's so good is very few people are offended. He's so authentic. It's hard to be offended. That's by, just them. That, that by him, he's so authentic yeah. that like. If somebody else was saying it, you might be, some people might be like, what the fuck? Dave Chappelle has that quality too. Right? So like, but Joey is so authentic. There's no, not bish bish him being him on stage. So like. I mean, you guys know best. If that's the same motherfucker on and off stage. Dude, this dude, he, (coughs) Joey babysat him. Oh, Uncle Joey babysitter. I mean, we have a clip of that. Yeah. From one time we talked about it. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I've known this dude for a long time. (laughs) Yeah. But he's always made me laugh. I mean, like, uncontrollably. So, would you say, as a comic, who is your favorite comic? Unbiasedly saying Joey Diaz? You mean for in forever? Okay, go. Forever. Do you mean like my favorite of all time? Your favorite of all time, hold on, as a kid and then as a comic. Mm. Ooh, I just asked the rapper, who's your favorite rapper right now? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. go. Go for it. As a kid, it was um, Sam Ken. What, what are we defining kid? Ah! Probably Ken. Like, Ken is the first one who really got my attention. I, I, I had watched other people. Like, I remember the first comedy album or special that really made me, I was just like, what? My dad let me stay up and watch um, Carlin live at Carnegie Hall. Oh, he, and different level too. On, uh, on HBO, just, I think it was HBO. I was pretty young. <coughs> but I remember just like my dad coming to me, at, at, to me after. I, I didn't think you'd like that so much. Really? Yeah. How old were you though? I don't remember, honestly, I don't remember how old I was. I was pretty young, feels like 10, 11, 12, something like that. Okay. Ballpark. (laughs) Ballpark. (laughs) Ballpark. You just cut somebody off, face. (laughs) But. um, As a comic now. (sighs) That's so hard to say. I I know. I needed to hear it, though. They had the mic to the head. He's thinking. There's so I. Uh, oh well, I thought that was me, man. <laughs> I went. Do I hear my own? Oh, no, you fucking. By the God. way, you know what I thought? That I was, was like, good. "Am I having a stroke right now?" <laughs> oh my God! Man. You really got me, man. I was like, "Is that me?" Fuck! That was the first one. First heartbeat. I was like, "I was like, what?" Second one. I was like, "Oh wait, no, wait, hold on, soundboard." I for I just thought automatic. Like, is this the time? Yeah. Is this okay? Is this it? It was the weed. I was I like, I was like, can everybody hear this? <laughs> That's exactly what I first thought. Yo, if you had said that, I might have shit myself laughing. <laughs> <laughs> There's mushrooms in this. Hey, uh, um, oh, yeah, what's up with that delivery of mushrooms? My favorite, I, I. Sorry, I'm trying to be rude. I'm just asking, I'm ordering mushrooms to this place. I, Sorry, guys. I I don't know. Oh, okay. Could you I, I, give your favorite three? Let, me, three? Say Let me say this. Let me say this. Three. I can say the person who makes me laugh the hardest outside of Joey Diaz That's is what I hear. probably Cat Williams. Oh, 
great. I love that Good answer. answer. Yeah. That motherfucker Damn, is he, the ultimate roaster of all time. Yeah, I love he's that fool. So fucking he's so funny. Bro. Does he make you go, how did you do it that fast? Dude, he's so funny. How did you come up with that so fast? You <sighs> motherfucker. Damn, Throwing the towel he's funny. In. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> hard. <laughs> Yo. so you like loud ass fools. Sam Kinison. Fucking <laughs> Cat Williams. Yo, Cat Williams makes me laugh. Now, I, I want to, you're saying alive today? Because if not, I got to change my answer. Go. Any. Uh, oh, uh, Patrice O'Neill. Hands oh, down. Oh, bro. Good Han- shit. Hands down. Hands down. Hands down. Hands down. <laughs> you no, look like a fish, huh? Yo, this dude. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm not going to. I'm not going to say that he was the best. But who made me laugh? Who makes me laugh? <laughs> Yo. Like nobody else. That was so funny. Dude. Bro. Oh, my God. Can I harass you a little bit? Dude. Just a little bit. Let me sexually harass you sometimes. <laughs> bro, that dude. motherfucker. <laughs> I'm gonna go watch this shit tonight. This Thank fucking you. guy. Thank you. My, when I it, to not mention him would be a disservice. Like, as, I'm not saying he's the best comic ever, but you ask me who who makes me laugh the hardest? That dude. And by the way, somebody put up a 33 or 34 minute oh, clip it. of his what they called his funniest, which I don't think it was oh, his funniest. I you talking about the tribute. I'm sorry, but. It's just clip after clip after clip from different specials from different. <sighs> yo, it is it's almost scary to be in that front row. Super funny. What you want to be? Super funny. But but for me, it's 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 got to be Patrice. Wow, great, great fucking, fucking answer. answer. Good shit. You like Patrice a lot? Yeah, yeah, a lot. YouTube is just for fights, ignorant shit, stand ups. Yo, Patrice O'Neill and watching Norm Macdonald ruin interviews. <laughs> love it. That's my. I love watching that shit. I've never seen that. Watch tonight compilation Norm Macdonald ruining interviews. He will straight up say the worst shit and not give a fuck I on live TV. That. Doesn't matter where he's at. This motherfucker, man. Yo, I love this stuff. Yeah, I watch that often. So I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch a. Uh, Okay. Some shit tonight now. Dude, I'm, uh, I might watch Patrice again. I watched him two nights ago. And I when I we, I watch, my brothers are all start watching. So we kind of talk about it. What do you mean? I'll be like, hey, I'm watching Patrice. Oh, that was you texting? Yeah. I thought you were playing games. Like, you're, yeah. what are you doing right now? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, who are you? You're texting people like, my yo. My brothers. Oh, your actual brothers. You're like, yo, I'm going to watch some stand-up. Damn, you guys are close. Patrice. We had the a talk the other night about like who makes us laugh the hardest. So you and, you talk to your brothers often like this? Yeah. That's fucking awesome. I never hear this. Ever. They all live here. I've never heard of anybody talking yeah. to their siblings like that. That's awesome. <laughs> well yeah, man. We well but we are all two years apart. So we're all pretty close. Sister's two years apart too. She's a dick. We don't talk at all. <laughs> right, let's keep going, let's keep going, let's keep going. But uh um, <laughs> yeah, and he knows all of them pretty well too. Yeah. They're your uncles. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I would hope you know them, man. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you said like, I, they've introduced, I've introduced them. Yeah. You know, they've come by a couple of times. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, th- no, I, I, um, we're all pretty close. There was a time where we all used to go out together a lot. That's scary. It was us four and my three cousins over here. We would go out all together. That's a lot of heads to go out. That's a lot of people. That's a game. Yeah. That's a pickup game, at least. Yeah, we that, got a that couple is. of subs. No, for yeah, real, that's yeah. a lot of people to <laughs> yeah. plan. You got and a three, you got a three, and three on three half court right there. That's easy. It's true with a ref. Yeah, yeah. We used to we used to go out together. It was a it was a fun. You know, then was it the late nineties? I guess in Hollywood, it's the late nineties. The Limp Biscuit days. It was the late nineties because you were born in ninety seven. Yes. Yeah. Damn, so, you missed the birth of Space Jam. Ooh, off by a year. I've seen it plenty I've of times. It. No. <laughs> I've seen it plenty of times. But you went there when the McDonald's toys were there. And you're like, yo, can we get that shit? Oh, my God. <laughs> do you remember? I mean, you probably didn't give a fuck. But no. Do you remember that shit? <laughs> <laughs> you were doing drugs? Yeah. And- <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> 
Jesus Christ. Sorry. You're right. Yeah. 97. I, yeah, I had I had him in 97. Wow, that's so long ago if you think about it like that. The late 1900s. Yeah, fucking the, Adam. The late, the 19, late 1900s. Holy shit, as it will be referred to yeah. in the not so distant future. Adam Mill made that a thing. One of our guests that he only talked, you know, the late 1900s. Oh, dude, Gee, don't, don't say, say that. that shit. Oh, I'm with man. you. Yeah, why? Yeah. 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 Now? yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, that really feels terrible. It's a question. It felt like an insult. It, it's weird. Were you though. alive in the late 1900s? Oh, oh God, that sounds awful. Fucker. Like, no, I'm only 21. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Yeah. You're making me feel weird right now, man. I was born in the late 1900s. Um, question. Comedian, <laughs> raising you. You watching any kind of comedy growing up? And or what was the first comedy you can remember watching besides his? Ooh, that's a great question. Besides I his, I don't know. I feel like it took me a minute. But, I mean, I did also go out with you oh, on so a live tours. Shows. Besides that, I'm talking about like where you chose to go. I was watching stand-up. Because you were alive in YouTube age. Yes, absolutely. You, know, like, I you was. grew up with that shit. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I don't really know if I really got into comedy. Like, really got into comedy until I was probably about 18 or 19. Oh, shit. Yeah. It, I mean, like, I was into it and I was always there. And, you know, like, we always talked about his jokes. And I knew he was performing and telling those stories because he always ran them by me. and was like, can I tell this story or this story or this story? And I was like, yes, yes, no, I don't like that one. You're just so accustomed to it, I think, is what I'm getting. Like, it, yeah. It wasn't and, like, oh, fucking comedy shows. All this is your dad's profession. Yeah. There was also a couple times, like, when I was underage that I went to like under drinking age, we would go to Vegas for a show or something else. And we would come stay in the casino with you, but I couldn't go to the shows because yeah. I couldn't uh, get in. Oh, I didn't even think about all that. So I wasn't 18, so I couldn't get it. So didn't go much with him on the road, like in high school. And I just, you were on a private jet. Yeah. One, one weekend, one weekend. Okay. It was pretty dope. I mean, no, it was, He's like, don't throw a number on it, but he's private jet. That's the one. <laughs> Absolutely, that was that was pretty uh, amazing. It's the only time I've ever done that. I definitely want to do it again. And we and you, when I used to tour with Cable Guy, you came and did a weekend on the tour bus. Yep, that was dope as well. The tour bus was super cool way awesome. to travel. I would have never left. I'd have just stayed in there. Really, that cool? Oh, it's a pretty cool way to I had travel. Everything you needed. I just feel weird, like, hey man, let's drive this house good yeah that's I'm what laying is. down back here hey but you basically but you, you're a fedex package because you go to sleep in one city and you wake up in another you're my just dad's like, a truck driver so that's, that's how i felt as a kid yeah i'd wake up like where are we we're in la already oh I slept. Perfect. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was the best thing like go to sleep motherfucker i hated truck driving it's so boring there was no video games i didn't have shit to do when i was six yeah i know my dad was on meth i'm like yo that's why you slept for a day and a half oh <laughs> all right, all right. On the side of the road, we're just in the just sleeping. I'm hey, awake. dude, pre video games when I had to give my kids Benadryl to go to sleep on planes. The juice, the juice. You put in the juice. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you said the juice. The juice. I just we the serve juice. the juice. The <laughs> juice. Well, you where you would go to sleep. I, I drug the others. I, I can still do that. I can go to sleep yeah, anyway. This dude. That's a gift. No, yeah. it's a gift. I have insomnia so bad. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> this dude is, can be like, hey, um, you're going to go to sleep right now. Weird. Yeah. But cool. It's great. It's, it's awesome. I love the, I love having that talent. No, it's amazing. It's yeah. a, I wish I had that off switch. Oh, I'd be fucking so cool. Wouldn't it? Oh, I'd be taller. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> My body was elevated. So I'm like, no, bro. You're doing too much down there. Get yeah. up here. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. Uh, I got wish a, I had that too. Got a couple fan questions here. Bust them out, man. Oh, this shit. This is a new thing we've been doing mid episode. At Dope as Usual Podcast on motherfucking Instagram. Which we never fucking say. <laughs> I put up. Questions for Josh and Jacob Wolf. Half the questions are about ask Jacob if he bought the porn with a straight face. Shocker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shocker. All right. Well, I mean, listen. Do do we need to explain what that question means? Uh, I just in case the fans that okay. are watching here don't know. So I have just a be safe. a joke that I well it's a story 
that I tell. My wife and I went out of town for a weekend, and my parents, Jacob's grandparents, mm-hmm. came over to the house, and they stayed there for the weekend. And a month later, I got two hundred dollars <laughs> worth of porn charges on my direct TV bill. Jacob blamed it on my parents, his grandparents. <laughs> Said it was them. My parents don't agree. <laughs> well, don't that's agree. not actually. Well, I don't know yet. Can I? Yeah, tell you? yeah. Hold on. Can wait, I? wait, wait. Can you tell them what Grandpa said? Okay, so I asked my dad. I go, hey man, because this has been going on a long time. I go, hey man, did you <laughs> did you order that porn? And he goes, Jacob hasn't said anything. And I said, no. And he goes, well, then I'm not going to. And I was like, you fucking asshole. <laughs> so neither one of them will say anything. I've I've already said my part. That's the thing, though. Is like, it so wasn't me. I told you what happened. In my, the end, my it's part, the grandma. My part is, oh, shit. and my part is, it wasn't me. It was shaggy. You take your shaggy. It 100% wasn't. You had a joke prior to this as well. About me getting caught watching porn on the computer. Yes. Why Why am I knowing it's free clicking something on the TV? Hey, he's got a motherfucking point there. Kids don't pay for porn. $200? That's like, how much fucking porn You is know that? what? Okay. Buying porn on DirecTV is something an older man would do. Thank you. That Holy was my next point. Holy shit. Oh, Marty. <laughs> Marty. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so fast. He was ready oh, for that. <laughs> <laughs> Who would know if soundboard could be Holy so useful? Holy shit. That was great. Can I tell you, I've been on a lot of podcasts who've had soundboards. <laughs> and that's one of the only times I haven't thought, why the fuck did they make that noise? <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny, dude. It was perfect. And not only that, it was perfectly timed. You, oh, it was. You That's dropped it in at like the fucking sweet spot, uh, man. Well done. Uh huh. So hold on back to it. Okay. So you so your dad bought it. No. Here's the deal. Somebody bought it and it wasn't me. I, 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 honestly, outside perspective, I believe you. Okay. Let me just give you my argument. Can I? Yeah. Okay. When I was 15 years old, the same age she was, okay, I um, I discovered 976 numbers. What's that? What those, was that? those were sex lines that you would call and a recorded voice would come on and do like a three to five minute spiel. Yeah. <laughs> what did it sound like? Hey, Joey Diaz. Voice. Why are your pants down, Marty? Oh! <laughs> 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 you know what? I actually looked at it. Did you pants do? Guys, I'm off today, man. I'm fucking oh off. He got me with God. the. Is your joint out? Yeah. I look at his pants and expect Marty's fucking ass to be out. Like, yo. Oh, fuck. Uh, I had to think about it for a fucking second. <laughs> what? No, not this time. Um, I didn't eat mushrooms yet. Yeah. Um, what were we talking no, you're about? You're just really good. You're really good at this. Like Josh joke is faking me, yeah. man. What were we talking the about? The porno story. The porno. Oh, you oh. your side, and you were 15 years okay. old, and 976 numbers. Okay, so 976 numbers were like, that was really, really good. Well done. Well done. Well done. Really so they, they were like recorded pieces, and you know, you would jerk off and whatever. And so my dad... He sits me down and he put, he did exactly what I did to Jacob. He puts the phone ball down in front of me and I see all of the, I see the 976 now. <laughs> Let me tell you what was embarrassing. There was 37. Oh. In, like in a row, basically. In a row. I mean, I took a couple minutes off here and there, but. In the same day? Oh, yeah. You called it back and back to back. <laughs> <laughs> stay on the line. <laughs> I was just. No, it was probably over like a week. Oh, something that's, like that. That makes a big fucking difference. That's a big that's difference. A big yeah. difference. That's probably, what you spent your call. whole that's, day. That's yeah. a world record. It was probably like over. It was probably like over a week. And um, 
He said, uh, do you know anything about this number? And I was like, no. And he said, do you know what it is? And I said, no. And he said, when you call it, it's like a, a sex line. And I said, um, well, it's like, it's educational. And he was like, no, it's not educational. He said, what a terrible thing. He, he said, yeah, um, what a terrible fucking lie. He, he said, he was like, no, he was like, it's like sexual. It's a woman. And I was like, oh, he said, did, did you call this number? And I was like, no. And he said, well, you know, it's just me and your mom and you living here. Mom's a fucking fruit. So <laughs> she, yeah, yeah, exactly. She said, Mom's wild. He, he was like, are you saying this was my dad's great with this? He said, are you saying somebody broke in here? Didn't take anything. Didn't move anything around. And made these phone calls on our phone. And I was like, I mean, it sounds pretty weird to me too, but I mean, it wasn't me. And he was like, okay. And so I will tell you, like, he never, even though, look, I have had kids. And sometimes you let lies go. He didn't bring it up after Oh he just like whenever he If there was some point in time Where he was supposed to give me money He just didn't Oh so he dropped the subject As soon as you said He was just like listen I'm just gonna take Whatever money I was supposed to give him He's gonna pay this off And that's what he just did He just was He was like I know you It was more like a look I just wanted to see if you'd admit it But You didn't Yeah So We both know. I don't need your beat off story, but dude, I know yeah, what happened. Yeah, right. Like, exactly, <laughs> dude. Like, he, he was, to me, it was actually like a great lesson because looking back, I know he knew. I knew. I knew he knew. And so he really, it was just a test. Yeah. And I did not pass. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I did not pass. No, you did not. I did not pass. I, but, but. Maybe you only called 32 times and your dad called five times. But how about this? Repeating history later. How, how about this? So my point is, my point is this, is that, look, my dad knows what an itemized bill looks like. You know who doesn't? A 15-year-old kid. So you know who knows if he orders anal party three? You know who knows it's showing up on the bill? My dad. There's no way he's ordering it and having it show up on the bill. Zero percent chance that is happening. Now, there is a great chance that he was scrolling through DirecTV and at the end of the 500s, there were porn channels. And he was like, well, fucking click on Anal Party 3. I don't know. And then it just came on. He was like, holy shit. That was free. No, dude, not free. Not free. It's like a fucking court of law right now. No, I see. I so, hey, by the way, I rest <laughs> my case that my dad knows what an itemized bill looks like. He does not. No, I got I got two more for those. Well, first of all, you and mom, uh, you and mom did the bills on the kitchen counter. So I've seen what an itemized bill looks like since I was younger. No. That's just that's just a small a small rebuttal. Second it's of all, second of all, no. come on in. Oh hey, the savior. Oh, hey. Hi. You can slide that on the way out. You're, you're fine. Thanks. Hi. How you doing? You look really fucked up. <laughs> you look really fucked up. I'm pretty high. I look, I look, I get super red eyes. I am, I'm you? pretty high. <laughs> you went, okay, be safe. We went to town. Thank you. You're good? I'm good. There is exactly six. You want to go three each? Yeah, how many, How? what's the? M- 0.7 each. So these are going to be 0.7 times three, 2.1. Yeah. Sp- oh I, wait, do you want more? Is that what you're No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> I was trying to decide earlier because I'm so much I, I'm so much smaller now and I don't do as much as many mushrooms. As he picks it up with the three in his I'm so much smaller. <laughs> full Let me tell you that three of them. <laughs> yes, but it's all here, wrist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to make sure. I do have a, a a bit of a velociraptor hold on these three. <laughs> <laughs> fucking <laughs> clever girl. Uh, 
<laughs> but, I don't know if I should. <laughs> I'm just staring into my face. <laughs> but I don't think I could do that without water. No, you have no. Oh, oh you were my. contemplating the water, not yeah. eating the mount. <laughs> This whole time, I thought you were like, I gotta do stuff. In no, minute. I was contemplating the amount too. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's calm, we can calm down. Let's take two and see how we feel. What do you think? It's up to you. They're pretty strong. Josh isn't gonna feel dick. But you eat That's straight caps too. Yeah. So you, you're all right. Yeah. Listen, so you want to just try one and wait like no, I don't want to try one. It's either it's either two, two or three. He's let's do two, two and then we'll wait on the next one. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it. Let's let's do it. I know you I know you can't swallow those pills without water because you have no saliva. No saliva, yeah, yeah. yeah. The problem. <laughs> so you lose. No, they were stuck to my tongue like like a like um like a hot day and you're like, no, like, like a, a slide. It was it was they were stuck on my tongue like almost like an art exhibit. Do you know what I mean? They were like they were they were like they were like <laughs> They weren't going anywhere, so I, uh, I could have been like a... They were stuck like something that's nailed to the wall. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> the, the, like an immovable object. <laughs> Did I ever tell you about that time? <laughs> I have told you about this. Did I ever send you that picture of, that, of what I did to that Puma box? Uh, maybe. Huh? Well, this the piece of art and the upside down and the frozen, all this together made me think of this time where I was locked out of my house and I had to go to the bathroom real bad. I like where this is going. And I went and I got a shoebox out of the trash can. Out, out of your own trash can? Out of the, out of the front because, you know, trash day. But was it your trash? My trash, yeah. Totally cool then. Shoebox and sat up against the side of my house and shit in the shoebox. Okay. And was pretty proud of it. Took a picture. <sighs> and <lost it. laughs> yeah. I, I I do remember now. I definitely got that picture. But I um you know, I overlooked a couple things, you know, wiping, all that stuff. Should have taken the tissue out the, before. The important stuff. But, but. Oh. <laughs> There's so shoot all right. the tissue. There's tissue. Paper. You're so There's right. tissue in the shoe box. Take the oh, tissue out. Oh my and then God. shit in the box. <laughs> and then use the tissue to wipe your ass. He's definitely got that picture if he remembers it was shit on top of the tissue paper. There Come was. On. Yeah, it absolutely was. You didn't even think about that? <laughs> Come on, the thing man. Is, I'm imagining it's him. I've is never he had to do his that. Pants up while he shitty ass took a picture, or did he have to ass out taking a picture? Ass out. <laughs> ass you're out. talking to here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on now. Nah. Wait, wait. Ass Your out. house before you left in Hollywood? In uh, Encino, yeah. Oh, it's, I didn't. I wasn't at that. I never yeah, saw yeah. that house. Yeah, the one in Encino before we moved out. When I met you at the house, the tall one. Yeah. I said, Where did you shit? Isn't that a shared driveway? Yeah, that would have been <laughs> really was uncomfortable. Was, yeah. Was That's where you, like, I was just in the middle of that courtyard. That would have been <laughs> hilarious. That, what a shocking thing to look out your window and see. That'd be kind of fucking hilarious. I smoke you back, you're taking a shit. That's all I would say. <laughs> <laughs> it's shit in the box. How polite, though. He shit in the box. Yeah. Well, listen, man. It was my house, so I felt like I should. But I left it out there. I forgot. Wait, how long till you got back in the house with the shitty, shitty ass? That was what I overlooked. <laughs> I, I, uh, it was, <laughs> listen, I felt really bad, but I jumped in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I was like, you know what? I I I, I hope this filter is extra strong. And it was your pool, my pool. Okay. Yeah, yeah, my pool. You give everybody yeah. pink eye in your yeah, pool. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah we put so a tarp wait, over. Wait, what me. reminded you to tell that story again? What What, what did we talk about that you went? This, oh, this one time, so the I took a shit. The box. pill, the pill being stuck to my tongue and being upside down. I had forgotten about the box for so long when I went out, when I lifted it up, it, part of it looked like the, what I imagined those pills would have looked like stuck to my tongue. 
That's a deep fucking reference. Oh my that was God. amazing. <laughs> that is At a deep I reference. Know, I'm not the only person that does shit like that in their head. Yeah, I'm like, very one time, but I'm very visual. <sighs> See what I mean? I saw it all. I agree <laughs> with you. That shit hurt my fucking chest from laughing, bro. You yeah. shit on the shit tissue paper. That's didn't so wipe stupid. Come on, man. Didn't wipe your I've never had to do that, and I already know that that's the first move is take the oh, tissue Oh, dude, out. the last time I had to shit outside? I shit out of church lawn. No. <laughs> yeah. Were you coming out of church or going in? No. Are you ready? Yeah. The Harlem Globetrotters came to Merced. What's happening right now? <laughs> <laughs> what a smoke. The Harlem Globetrotters <laughs> came to Merced, my town. Because they play the sheriffs every year for charity. And I'm sitting there like, yo, these motherfuckers spit in the ball. Oh. And then there's no bathrooms. I went, oh, no. And I ran from Merced College across the main hot street of our town and went, what do I do? What do I, what do, I do? Before, I was like 11. So I didn't have a cell phone. I was waiting for my grandma to pick me up. I'm like, I, I'm out of shit in the car. So I just waited. And I hid behind a bush and I had to take a shit in the front lawn of a church at night Sorry. and i'm like yo these leaves these leaves and i remember i looked down like there's shitty leaves everywhere no <laughs> 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 the last time i took a shit outside yo by the way i'm sure you were like he'll forgive me oh i'm not a religious person okay <laughs> <laughs> so taking a shit on the lawn is okay with me i had to yeah, sanctuary, right? Like, no, I'm listen. Yeah, I'm I mean, with it's you. A safe space, asylum, right? Got to do, you should, do. If you should be able to shit on a lawn, Dude, I love anywhere. Rose. She just popped in, dropped the mushrooms yeah, off, like and a left. magical fairy. That was left crazy. That was fucking awesome. Spit. Oh, before I go, I mean, before I go, before I get forget, I asked you, what's the first stand-up special you ever watched that you can remember? Uh Carlin. Okay, that was like Car- forty minutes Car- ago. Yeah. My bad, but. Yeah. I had to ask that question. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Okay. But I remember watching like um, comedy shows before that. Like what? What do you mean by that? Like the improv used to have a show. Oh, in person? No, 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 no. On TV. Oh, wow. Like the evening at the improv. Um, comedy Central obviously had some. I don't know, maybe it was pre Comedy Central. It has to be because if it's yeah. your first time you ever but watched it. But it was one. like, I think mostly evening at the improv. So they were do there was a show called the Evening of the Improv and I don't remember what channel it was on but Bud Friedman used to host it. There were comics on there and they used to film it at the I think the Santa maybe the Melrose Improv. Maybe that there used to be an improv in Santa Monica I think. And so but yeah. The first so one. That's what I remember on TV and that's what made me want to try it. Like the first time I ever got on stage I was 15. No shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where? I didn't know this. Uh, um, at a place called the Iron Horse in Northampton, Massachusetts, and um, yeah, man, I, my parents had to drive me there. What I, did you? T- I want to know what fifteen-year-old Josh said on stage. I can tell you what my very first joke was. Oh, I'm ready. So, first of all. I'm I'm wearing acid wash jeans, a, a mesh shirt. You were popping. You were tight. Okay. You were cool right there. I had some. <laughs> chun- ben fucking de- fresh. De- it sounds like debatable. Still wear. It. I, I had oh, some no. for me. I had some chunky well, everything white. Everything said like. I had some chunky tight. white, high tops. De- <laughs> and the. Jeans were tucked in. Okay. I had, I was wearing a baseball hat. I had a thick silver chain, not like a rope, but like one King Tut would have wore. You know what I mean? Oh, one of those. Damn. And a mullet. Bob. And so I would, I said, hey, everybody. Um, my mom and dad were in the front row. It's big MTV era, though. Yeah, dude. I was trying. You got to remember, MTV was you, very influential. Dude, I wanted to, I remember oh. wanting to be Dan Cortez. We talked about this the first time. Then yeah. you're like, then I did a Nickelodeon or a Nintendo fucking interview thing, and we brought the picture. Up. Uh-huh. You're probably dressed exactly like that picture. Uh, Pretty much what he described. Uh, fish nut, long uh, hair. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much what he just described. I mean, so it was, and um, my mom and dad were in the front row, and I said, hey, everybody, I'm Josh. I'm 15 years old. I'm really nervous. 
This is the first fucking time I'll be able to fucking swear in front of my cocksucking mom. <laughs> oh! <laughs> and, uh, yo, the crowd, it was... Now, the rest of the jokes were terrible. The rest of the jokes were ter- terrible. This is a jokes. comedy club or just like a... Open mic. But they what were, a fucking <laughs> line to open. They were, not, they were not ready for that. Nobody was ready for that. I wasn't. No, no. And At it, all. And it He's was, like, Grandma? It was a... The, and the story I closed on was a story about, you know, my mom and dad both had terrible gas when I was growing up. And we were driving down the freeway once, and um, we were in the way, way back. You know, the seats that faced the back. And, National uh, Lampoon seats. Yeah, man. And um, my dad pulled over, and he, was, he told my mom, he was like, hey, we were on the Mass Pike. He was like, hey, you got to get out for a minute. She was farting so bad. There's a window, wrong window there. Yeah, no, it didn't. He was like, you got to and she was like, what? And he goes, methane? He goes, just like this. He goes, she goes, she goes, she goes, what do you want me to do? He goes, you just got to walk it off or something. <laughs> 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 because like. You just got to uh, walk it off. <laughs> <laughs> it was like. Did you eat as a kid? We, we ate real healthy, dude. What the fuck happened? We ate real healthy. My parents, they, we just ate healthy. We didn't, they, we just did it's not like they're related. My and, and, they and, both got fucking and the they same look, my my mom used to has always had a garden for as long as I could remember. So she grew a lot of the food that we ate. The fuck did you guys grow? Yeah, yeah. Man. <laughs> no, what were you growing? That oh, it was yeah. a problem. You had to pull over your car. You had to pull over your vehicle to go. Yo, you smell like shit. Get out of oh, yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. It's a, probably a lot of a lot of high protein diet. Probably. It was Probably a lot of vegetables, a lot of raw vegetables. Probably, I don't a remember. Ton what of I, raw vegetables. But my probably. dad, my dad had a gas problem. They both, you know, farted a lot. Apple, apple doesn't fall. Up. Apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Yeah, but like he, I've tortured him with farts his whole life. <laughs> I, I've, I've farted in his mouth many times. No, I've never done the fart. Uh, on yeah, yeah. <laughs> not, never to an extreme, but yeah, he would I've like never given was, him pink eye. Or no, anything. no. When I was a teenager, he would let one go and then lock the windows. Yeah. Oh, my dad's like that. He's, yeah. a, he's an asshole like yeah, that, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want, listen. It's funny. I, and I don't want to be the only one who admires it. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? It's That's funny. So Especially so when they're little, they're right at the right level. You walk Marty, on. Wow. just said, yeah, I do that to my face. children. It's so good. No, hold on. Before you guys got here, we were oh, talking about no. a movie called The Mid-90s. Have you seen oh. it? Anyway, in the in the, in one of the scenes, like a little 13-year-old boy's yelling at his mom. I mean, screaming. Fuck you. She just picked him up from jail yeah, or some yeah, shit. And Marty goes genuinely, I'll fucking jaw one of my kids talking to me like that. He literally said, fucking someone's jaw's coming off. Like, I yo, got so mad in this. I don't that. He got genuinely mad talking about this. He's like, I wish one of my fucking kids would. His daughter's the, little boy the, little, nailed it. the, the little littlest girl. Boy nailed it in the movie. Little Cam. Eric. <laughs> <laughs> I would imagine this is the Marty. one movie my daughter asked us to watch together as a family. Oh, <laughs> Marty's yeah. sitting there getting crazy in the living room. Oh, <laughs> Heated. Throwing his hat in at the 20 TV. years, there's going to be interviewing Cam on a podcast for his star athleticism. Like, how, how one time my dad, I remember, he said he'd jaw me. He'd rip my jaw. I feel Marty. like kids should just should understand that, that. Like, that's why, I don't know. You I, have a different approach than Josh. <laughs> Yeah. What do you do with a kid that's screaming "fuck you, bitch" in your face and he's fucking fifteen? I I honestly don't know because it never happened. Yeah, it's tough. Because as a it's dad, different. you have to maintain respect. A hundred percent. You. There do. Has, I have to be able to end your world. That, you have to understand that. That it only works. Where's if my you mom? Know that. Yeah. Where's listen, my man. Mom? So I, that never happened to me with like. Somebody who could inflict harm on me if I let them go too far. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah they have to know that. Sense, yeah, I think they have to know that they can't. That's there's, there's gonna be lying in the house. You know, I, I, but I don't know, man, because it's never happened to me. So I'm not. Last thing on the world that I ever want. I just the rage I felt for yeah, that little yeah, fucking tough kid. One. That's a tough one, dude. You know, I I, I mean. I'm sure he cursed me up and down once the door was shut, but he yeah. never, but he never did it to my face. Fucking 
Christmas story, Dad. Mm-hmm. Cussing under your breath, man. Mm-hmm. Makes you live yeah. long. Yeah, I mean, what what's the time? Yeah. You remember yeah. that you were the maddest of me. Um, I don't know. I think I feel like I have one from when I was like a, like a kid, uh, where I was pitching in a baseball game, and I was playing well, and but I had a couple people get on base, and you came to pull me out of the game. And I was like, no, I want to stay in. And you, you were coach? He, yeah. he coached me oh, pretty much up all that's, the way until high school. different. Okay, I thought. Yeah. <laughs> and so he, he came out on the mound, and he was like, you're done. And I was like, no, I'm not. And I was like, I got one more out. Like, I want to get this batter. Like, I'm not coming out. And you were like, you're coming out. Like, we already got somebody coming in. Go take a seat on the bench. You did great, but you're out. And I was like, no. And I just threw a fit on the mound. How old were you? Uh, 12. Very bad news bears ish. Twelve, mm-hmm. um, and eventually I, I he took the ball from me and I went out and I took my glove off and I threw it in the dugout and I just sat there, I just sat there on the uh, on the bench just crying, pissed, just so mad. And uh, he put somebody else in the game. Um, they they got the next batter, got out of the inning, came in, and I was just sitting there. And you were like, come on, time to buck up. Time to be there for your team. And I was like, no. And he brought me, he literally picked me up and brought me to the minivan that was parked just outside outside the diamond, diamond on the street. And he brought me in there and he put the keys in. And he's like, you're going to sit in here for the rest of the game. Oh. And he was like, you're not going to come out. You're not going to contribute. You're going to sit in the van for the rest of the game. Nice. And I'll come drive you home when it's over. That was his version of John. And, mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that. And I like that. Yeah. It, there's uh, mostly because I go back to that trust thing. Is that like there's no when that happens, he's there's no question about. I and purposely I picked him up so he knew that I at any time could pick him up. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, like more, anytime I can end your that's, world. That's <laughs> it's important. Like you can do it without doing it, and yeah. just by lifting him up, he was first of all a little shocked. And I oh, just carried him. Sure. And I, and I just I'm like, but 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 like, also important, dude. For me, anyways, not to lose control. You can be in charge. You can be in charge, and you can be stern, and you can make somebody do what you want them to do without losing control. And I think you lose credibility when you lose control. Do you know what I mean? Because then you go back to that trust thing, dude. Like I can't trust you to get keep your shit together. Like now, yeah. I, now I'm, what if I do this? Are you going to lose your shit if I do this? Or if you, you know what I mean? And so I'm not saying I never lost my shit. Everybody loses their shit. It happens. But that was for me the reason why I tried not to. All right. Hold on. Did you guys win? Did, we win, did we win that game? <laughs> did you guys win? I wanted to know. I don't know why I'm like I him in the car. Like, yeah. See? I don't Fucking know. in the van. Like, fuck yeah. this. Yeah. I, lost, I, didn't we? Lost. We yeah. lost, huh? Yeah, that would have been a tough lesson for me to try to teach. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we did end up winning the game. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> but but oh, man, I, I was still super pissed. Oh, yeah, man. But like later on in my, like, I don't know, my teen years, like in high school, I don't know. Anything I got like grounded for, I, I fucking like deserved it. So there was nothing I could like. I could be mad at him, but oh, like, what'd you get grounded for? I want to know what you got grounded for uh, for a whole summer, right? Whoa, gr- like grounded, TV, like, uh, the whole summer. TV, video games. No, I'm saying like TV. Yeah, where you're like you're grounded for the summer. Like uh, yeah, bullshit. That's no, all TV? you got as a parent. That's all. That's that's. I've true. never been grounded for a that's summer. It. I had no. I had no phone. I had no TV. I had no video games. Uh, Did yeah. you leave the house? Oh wait, that's I grounded. Could, I could leave the house to go ride my bike to the park to play basketball. Oh, dude, that's 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 cool. There was one time he was. I forget if you were twelve or thirteen, but you know, old enough. Where and for me, anyways, we and we lived like a mile from Beeman Park, Studio City. Pretty safe place. So I remember one time a friend of yours was over and I was like, why don't you guys just ride your bikes in the park? 
And he was like, all right. And the kid was like, uh, you have to call my mom. I don't think, I don't think she's going to let me do that. I'm like, why not? And he was like, well, you can call and ask her. And she was like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not comfortable with them going to the park by themselves. And I was like, I can't believe it at 12. I mean, look, man, they shouldn't be out partying all night, but you, you, we were on our bikes and I, I hate when people say it's a different time. Is it, or are you just more aware that there are people called, you know what it's I mean? It's just more aware. Yeah. yeah that's the awareness it. for sure. And so like. People are still just as gross. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, and the, as they were before. Mm-hmm. It's not probably worse. Yeah. And so like, but like, it's also important for me at some point for him, like especially to just me not be there all the fucking time. <laughs> I would like to smoke weed sometimes without you bugging me through the window. <laughs> <laughs> through the window like a neighbor. Hey, Yo, man, what are you doing? A genuine laugh. Like, oh, I remember that kid. Go. <laughs> Over there. Hiding. I used to do that for my fucking, oh, for my cousin, but he, he's not my kid, but still. Uh-huh. Like, yo, he's a little baby. Like, check that out. Holding the bong on the other uh-huh. side of the window. Like, so cool. Yeah. Just chilling out with Marty. Every time I call Marty and there's an up angle, Marty's smoking weed away from his kids real quick. Every time. I'm in the closet. Am I in the am I in the cabinet? Oh, okay. You're packing bowls. Puts me in the cabinet. He packs Hilarious. bowls in the cabinet. Oh, the no, rips. <laughs> do they do they know the smell? No, I always usually do it outside. Yeah, yeah. like in like outside of the garage. And how and how I mean how old do you think? It'll be like your first you know, until your first kid goes. I got a thirteen year old. She watches oh. the fucking podcast. So. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. So she yeah. knows what's up. She knows. What's she up. knows. I she, never thought she, about she it like that. Friends that watch the podcast I and shit. Never thought about so, it. So like, like they they like she'll be FaceTiming her friends and sometimes they'll start fucking geeking out and shit because they My go God. like over Thomas and shit. Watch uh, the show. Yeah. So nice. that ship kind of sailed. I don't know. It didn't really, wasn't really something we really even talked about. But yeah. I never even thought about it. Yeah. It she just, watches the show. Of course she's seen you smoke weed out of a pipe 62 times. Yeah. <laughs> this motherfucker goes hard on the fucking yeah, weed pipes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. I keep it, I've always kept it like, not, like they don't, kids don't know fucking nothing. Oh right? yeah. Every time I go there, there's no ounce of a drop of weed anywhere. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm not the smell, smell at all. Like no, no, he smokes in the out in the garage by the door, like outside. Yeah, I smoke outside too. And I got he hooked me up with this little dab rig thing. Oh, too. so Marty's a dabber now. Best thing I've ever. He doesn't really smoke weed that much. He's just been smoking fucking hash on top of hash. What, dude? We took a fucking. Da- I gave him a dab out of a really crazy rig. Yeah. And Marty took like a point three and went. <laughs> Did you just barely cough? <laughs> It's that winter lung from the East yep. Coast. The winter <laughs> lung. He's got that strong, hard, uh, solid brick lung. Yeah, by the way, the Jesus. winter lung, that is what the Game of Thrones new series is about. That's yeah. the What name. does that mean? Winter lung. It's called winter lung, Game of Thrones. I just made that up. I've never seen it. I'm totally totally kidding. kidding. It's not cool. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's number three. <laughs> yeah, no, that would be a good one, though. Game of Thrones, Yo, winter I, lung. I, I know we haven't eaten them a lot. Like, uh, I'm going to take that other one from I feel like Josh, you're gonna fuck with the dabs a little bit though. It's so nice. You don't dab fresh. Here's why I don't dab, and I can here's me and I can tell you why I don't like to dab. I love weed. I love the, I love the ascension of the weed. I think it's almost perfect how high you get, and I love it with edibles. But just like I don't like coke because I'm normal, and now I'm fucking not. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't like the instant fuck I, up. Nah. That's cool. That's not for me. That's cool. I if like, you know what you want, that's awesome. You like to chill and go, I like to gl- ah, yeah, ah, man. Ah. I get it. I, I get like it. To, I like to glide into it. I like it because it's so fast. This is the only time I can chill and puff a joint is when I'm here, really. So like, I don't, the little... Dad, yeah, for you, it's an efficiency thing. Yes, because yeah. Mari's editing. But I like it too now. Little kid like, right there. You can't be smoking like yeah. that. Yeah. It's stronger. So you take one, one little fucking... Sesh off the fucking dab rig is like... Oh, Marty's going hard, guys. <laughs> Every time I see <laughs> FaceTimes me, like, you're dabbing again? <laughs> Fuck! How long does one dab last? How long will like, one dab will do you? I mean, you sit there. I'm t- I take little tiny fucking dabs compared to these guys. Like, I'm talking, like, tiny little fucking dabs. You sit there and chief on the fucking things for, like... You probably go through a gram in how long? Two days. 
Yeah. 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 It's kind of a gram is like an eighth of weed, basically. Yeah, but it's reasonable. It's basically the same exact thing to me. I'll, I'll sit on a, a gram of wax or an eighth of weed for like two days. And one hit off your dab, how long are you high? Like an hour or two. But but it's huh. also a more it's more expensive, right? Like to to buy wax. Depends on right? the same wax. in my world. That's the same. An eighth of weed and a uh, gram of wax are about the same. Oh, guys, if you're talking about efficiency and price, hash and wax is the cheapest way to ever smoke weed or ever get high. You really? Get one gram of live resin. You take a point one, which is you know you have ten of those in a gram. Take a point one, and if you don't dab a lot, you're gonna be high as fuck for about two hours. And that one grand might have cost you thirty five dollars. It's about an eighth. It's about an eighth. That's a yeah. That's, that is what he's saying. It's accurate. <laughs> yeah, but some hash like the hash my friend made. I, I smoke hash rosin. Yeah, it's really expensive, but that's like a hundred a gram. <laughs> but it's a different level of like, oh fuck! It's, <laughs> it's like it. Do you the strongest shit I can smoke? Do you remember the first time you remember thinking? Oh, this is good weed. Yes. Yes. When was that? I was walking through Merced. Merced, where I'm from, it gets like 110, 120 in the summer. It's hot. Yeah. I walk. I was walking, and I remember thinking, I'm fucking so... I smoked a blunt of purple weed. I remember looking at like... So now, looking back, like, it's good. Not the best fucking weed of all time, but I'm like, that's some pretty good weed. Mm -hmm. So as a kid, I was like 15... I'm walking with my sister that was a dick to me. So I was like, oh, shit, she's invite. Let me go with her to her friends. Okay, fuck it. But her friends, I knew. But they're, she's like, don't hang out with my little brother kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, you're letting me go over there. Okay. So I'm drenched in fucking sweat. I get there. I smoke out of a bong, which I don't have. So I got fucking high instantly. I rip it. And that's when I'm like, oh. And I almost yeah, I had a heat stroke. I went in the bathroom. I didn't want anybody to know. And I grabbed one of their towels. I wiped my whole body off because I was pouring. Come on. I drank water out of the faucet and I walked out like, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Because everybody thinks you took one bong and passed the fuck out. Get your little brother out of here. But they don't know I smoked a fucking giant yeah. blood on the way there. Uh -huh. And I didn't drink water. And then I ripped the bong. So I just tried to hide it. I didn't think my sister knows. <laughs> yeah. That's the time. Sorry, Gabe. I use your whole fucking <laughs> hand towel. Sweaty as fuck. Yeah, oh, he's done worse things with that hand towel. 150. But there's so many dudes over there. <sighs> oh, you know, it's probably bad that I used that towel. <laughs> Damn, I need to think yeah, about that yeah, shit. Yeah, man. It was a while ago. Though. Yeah, okay. you've probably been tested since then. You're probably fine. I'm okay. Yeah, you're good. You're I good. I didn't even go. think about that. Ugh. Yo, my. Okay. <laughs> when we were driving. My old my my older brother to college. So we lived in Massachusetts. We were gonna drive him to Florida. Jeez. On the way to Florida was Pittsburgh, where my oldest brother went to college. And so um he wasn't going it was he wasn't going with us, but he was like, Hey, you can stay a night because we didn't really have any money, we need to save money in the fraternity. And so Dude, fucking, have you heard this Tom Wolf story? I don't think so. So we walk in, and it's like, I don't know how to explain. It's not messy. It's dirt. It's dirty. And there's like a little bit of water everywhere. And then down by the, the bathroom, there's standing water. About, you know. Three, four inches. And so we're all just looking down the hallway like, oh, my God. You with your dad? My dad and my brother. And so we're just like, ugh. So my dad's like, you guys take this room. I'll take this room. And we're okay. So we're in the fraternity. It's just fucking gross. We get up in the morning. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, How would you sleep? He was like, my brother's like, so gross. Let's, <laughs> let's get the fuck out of here. So gross. It's so gross. Let's just keep driving. And um, we go out to see where my dad is. <laughs> we hear somebody in the bathroom just kind of, you know, having a chuckle with himself. Out comes my dad in walking barefoot in that standing water. He just went in the bathroom to shower. He goes, Showers, shower feels good, boys. 
<laughs> he was like, you should hop in. The water's hot. And I was like, so what, what? Do you have any idea what you're standing in? He goes, no, but I just washed in it. It's fine. This motherfucker. I don't know if that's how that works. <laughs> dude, but that's the same dude where he dropped that hot dog on the ground at Fenway Park. Your dad. And, did he, and he ate it? My, did my man. My man. <laughs> hey, look, uh, I will attest, you don't waste the Fenway Frank. You know what I'm saying? Do so you like, remember? He, I go, what are you doing? He was like, what? It's my hot dog. And I was like, no. I mean, it's on the ground, man. Like, it was on the ground. And he was like, yeah, but. <laughs> he was like, just, you know, my feet have been here. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> that logic is fucking stupid. He's so tough. I walk my feet on this ground. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I've been, I've, oh been, my God. I've been sitting here. Nobody's shit here. What do you mean? It was built in 1911. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, it was the Black Plague. It's, the it's been through a lot. It's been through a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. That's that's. Oh wait, you're telling me the first episode we ever came on here, we talked about your dad, and you were watching. The show, yes, and you agreed, like, yeah, I would agree. He's in very good shape for being an older man. Your dad, and then you're saying he's eating raw fucking vegetables and walking barefoot. Yeah, he's built up some immunities. Uh, he he was like what five nine, five ten in college. He could dunk a basketball off two. He could dunk a basketball yeah. standing off two legs. Probably five ten, I think. Probably. Five ten. Crazy. We're gonna find out their fucking dad, Jax Elaine's cousin or something. That would be what amazing. is happening that be, right that now? That would be awesome. His, his Jewish cousin, Jack Lelaneberg. Do you see what I'm saying here? Lelanovich. Lelanovich. Jack Lelanovich. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one, yeah. I like that one too. I think yeah. that one's better. <laughs> Yo, hold on. Uh, yeah. So you're, wait, your dad can dunk a basketball? Not How anymore. Not anymore. Could. So your dad like goes on runs and shit? Nah, he plays golf pretty much every day. Oh, so he's active. Yeah, golf yeah. isn't the easiest shit. He also goes world. to the gym. Not at 86. He also goes to the oh, gym shit. four days a week. Yeah, I right? think he's cut that down. Oh, yeah, just because he's playing golf so much? That lazy fuck. <laughs> Stop it. That lazy <laughs> bitch. <laughs> yo, what? Yeah, yeah he's, he's... This is he's, cool. Yo, this dude um, shot his age in golf. He shot an 82. I don't know what that means. I'm not good. I don't. Well, so golf. for those of you who are listening who don't know, you know, it's the lower the score, the better. And like a um, professional golfer shoots, they shoot in the 60s and 70s. But like as you get older, it's obviously harder to shoot below whatever your age is. Oh, that's a thing. Yeah. So you oh. say he shot his age or he shot below his age. So, for him to be his age and to shoot an 82 was like... Crushing it. Yeah, this... I still can't beat him. None of you can beat him. You know how to play golf, though? No. No. No, I mean, not compared, but saying if you... (laughs) No. No. I like to go out and have a good time. Yeah, I I like to try and uh, smoke joints. I'll fuck a golf course up. (laughs) Yeah, we... I'll leave some divots, boy. Yeah. You know what I like doing also? My grandfather... It's fun to fool old people, but my grandfather, he's my grandfather's such an avid golfer. Wait, did you say your grandfather is an avid golfer? Was was. Oh, like, oh dear, your dad is eighty six years old. Yeah, my Sorry, grandfather's like, eighty eight. It's so weird. Five golfer. No, this dude was an avid avid golfer. He loved the game, and um, so your one of your clubs is called the driver, right? And you're only supposed to hit that off of your first shot. Yeah. You're not supposed to use it in the fairway. It's hard to hit off the grass if you're not, if you don't have it teed up just the way the angle is. So my grandfather had terrible vision. You know, he wasn't eyeballing me from, but I told him, I go, I strictly use the driver. So he, but he never saw me put the tee in the ground. So I was, whack, I was just whacking him off the fairway. And he would, I would love it. It was so, we'd come back to dinner. He was like, Joshua was at it again today, whacking him out of the fairway with that driver. And I was such a little asshole. It made the whole day worth it. I'm like, only I knew I pulled the joke. That was it. That's all that mattered to me. <laughs> just enough. <laughs> just enough that I was like, that's right. Oh, yeah. Fooled him again. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> I got him. <laughs> Only for yourself. Fool me. Tell fucking years later. Oh yeah. Oh dude. I win. I needed it for a while. Yeah. It's such a satisfying. You know what the thing is? That is equally as crazy. It's like the story. I'm like, what are you gonna do to him? What happened when your grandpa's call? Oh, it's for you. <laughs> That's exactly how he felt too. Like, oh my god. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Look at how high your dad is right now. And it's funny to say it that way. Yeah. It's so funny because you're fucking grown up. It's so odd. Like you said earlier, it's weird. It's like a grown man for his son. It's odd. Yeah. And that he's the designated driver. That's cool though. Yeah. That's why I haven't just been smashing you know. on this joint. Yeah, that's why I've been chilling out, taking a couple, you know what I'm saying? It's all good. But this is yeah, I'm DD. It'll be all right. You good? Yeah, you I haven't said fine. anything in a long time. Well, I've just been also, you know, listening to the conversation. Listening to your story. Yeah. About you fooling your grandpa. Oh, I loved it. But I think he would have loved it too. Let me tell you something. If I would have let him in on it. He was so funny. My grandfather was like one of the funniest. Like I did that because honestly, like that kind of stuff, because he was so funny. Like he... <laughs> okay, there was one time he, he, he was sitting down. I was in the back seat of the car and he sat down in the front seat and he goes, whoop. And he kind of sat back up. And I go, what happened? He goes, just sat on my nuts. And I was like, oh, buddy. <laughs> That's a bummer. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. also it's like yeah you made it to an old age man yeah good dude job. Good but, job but, for you. but but like you know i was eight i didn't need to hear that but but still you know funny one of the funniest dudes so like when i say fool an old person like he, he would have loved to have been tricked to be in on the he wasn't in on it, but he would have loved it if he was. Yeah, yeah i could have i could have but, but i didn't i didn't because that one was for me yep yeah. That's it. Sometimes you just got to take one for yourself. Every and now, and now don't you more. ever pull a joke? And sometimes oh. you're the only one who knows. Oh, I'm the master of it. I, I love those. Before I started dating Rosie, I had her <laughs> convinced that behind my giant Joe Montana poster, I had an eight by eight Montana poster because mm -hmm. I my room was connect like right next to my roommates. We had a house, and I convinced her before she, we ever started dating when she was my friend. I go, yeah, behind this is a door. That leads because my house was built in 1910 in Merced. I'm like, yeah, there's a door. It connects to me and Jeebus's room, but it's kind of weird having a room connected to both of our rooms. So I just put this Montana poster on. We started dating like a year and a half later. She moved into my fucking house. We're dating. We're redecorating. She takes it off and goes, Where's the fucking door? I'm like, What the fuck are you to? Oh. Oh, wait a second. I planted that seed a long fucking time ago and I forgot. How good did that feel to oh. get that unexpected fucking payout? Shoot up. I can... Dude, did oh. did did you I was so happy. Did you for for a second just sit back and think God. she's been thinking about that for a year and a half. Oh yes. And what's even better is that you forgot and it was still happening. Oh, Oh, those are so best. satisfying. They're it's like it's like uh, residual it's income. Like surprise! Yeah, it? no, yeah, it's it's mailbox money. Oh fuck yeah! Yeah, it's mailbox money. It was funny for a while because I remembered. Then I forget, and now I remember again. It's like finding money. Yeah, 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 yeah it's it's finding money in your jeans. Yeah, I did that the other day. It was great. So good. You're like, oh okay, okay. So you do like that? I yeah, get what you're saying. Perfect. Now. Yeah, because I've done that to a lot of people. That's a good time. I've done stupid shit to everybody, but that was my favorite one. That's I your favorite think, one. I think that was my favorite one because. She had so many expectations of like, oh, our rooms connect. What's this extra room going to be like? Oh. By the way, that is quite a good one to have somebody convinced. Yeah, that is a real there oh, was, was just You want to hear my best one? Yeah. yeah and it just one. ended two days ago. How um, long had it been happening? 13 years. My little brother, Rocco. You wow. ready for this? Yep. My Monte Carlo, my... It's like my... Uh, it's a six, you know, like the old Monte Carlos, the mm -hmm. super sport ones. Yeah. When he was a kid, he used to pick him up from school. He was like five, six. I pick him up from school and take him, you know what I mean? Just because, like, my little brother. He was, I convinced him I had NOS, and then the car was self driving because he would love Transformers, but he was in the back seat buckled. He couldn't see that my knee was driving. I'd be like, look, say activate, I'm like activate. And I'm just like, look, we're driving. Oh. But I would turn. 
you know, because it's a big old wheel. You can just move it with both legs. Now you can't. It's like power. Well, not power steering, but it was easier to move that wheel. But I convinced him that I had NOS in that car because I had a button right here in the front. But it was just an alarm button that beeps when you know the alarm's on. So I would press it, gas the fucking car as fast as I could. And every time he hit the DOS. So I'd look back at it. Oh and then he was talking to his friend the other day. He FaceTimed me. He goes, Thomas, do you still have NOS in your money? Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, my fucking God. Ugh. Of course I do. Yeah. No, I know. No, no. I did. I did. That would have been good. How can you even ask me? I got it on all my cars now. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Yeah, that would have been fun. Fuck. What did yeah. you say instead? I said, Rocco. How dumb are you? That's a fucking alarm. Yeah. Did you really? like, are you kidding me? You're about to be 18 years old. You're, what's wrong with you? That car was parked at your house for four, for three years. I left it over there. He cleaned it for him. Like, didn't you see the NOS tanks? No, there would be NOS tanks. You're God. a car kid. You don't know. So, yes, that one. That's a real good one. Oh, I was like, oh, my God. You really saw. Oh, fuck, yeah. I think my favorite one ever. Love this. You had some small ones that were your favorite ones, which I started doing back to you as well when we lived in the same house. That's what she said. Yeah. Which ones? The How about the one where you would go into the freezer? He used to eat a lot of uh, lime popsicles oh, growing up, shit. like the ones from Trader Joe's. They're super good. The square ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just like, yeah. Oh, it was yeah. a fruit popsicle. Okay. And he used to just, uh, he would always take the last one, but instead of throwing the box out, he would put the box back You're in the freezer. you fucking monster. <laughs> That's not cool. That's <laughs> fucked up, actually. My kids do that shit. That'll send you into a rage. And so every... <laughs> yeah, oh, my God. Because you, you look at the box and you go, oh, oh there's huh? still some laugh. Yeah, yeah, you're like, oh, okay. or, if I, rage. or if he comes in the room eating one, I'm like, oh, you know what? That sounds like a great idea. Let me go get one. And he's oh, yeah. like, it's the last one, you son of a bitch. You're not going to get one. <laughs> <laughs> you dumb motherfucker. Can I tell you and something? And he just sends me to the fridge to wait for me to go, oh, what the hell, man? So that is my all time. Because I could have just, eat, I could have just eaten it and gone into my room. Yeah. But if I eat it and go into his room, he sees it and he thinks, that looks good. <laughs> Knowing full well that I left the empty box in the freezer. <laughs> Free meditation. Just so that I could hear him meditation. scream oh. from the other room, what the hell? Oh. Or what the fuck? Or why, my favorite one. Is why are you like this? Yeah. <laughs> Title of the episode. Oh right my Why god! Like <laughs> Yo, my cheeks actually is like you know where they kind of spasm sometimes. No, it's god. happening. It fucking hurts. That one is my. I started. Why are you like this? Uh, I started doing it back to it while I still had a couple years left in the house. He oh. did this fucker. He and did. and every time I would take one, I'd be like, I'd be like, all right, I'm going to bed. And I'd be like, and he would hear me rattle with the paper, and he go, "Did you get a second one for me?" And I'd be like, "No, go get your own fucking lime school, man." Like, yeah. I'm going to bed. And I would just sit and close my door, but wait right on the other side of my door just to hear. Because he, he would either go, oh, God damn it. Or he would laugh because he know he got. Yeah, it he was know, funny. He know he got got. Yeah. So he would just sit there and laugh. Student and I would be like, becomes a teacher. You yeah. know what I mean? And I would just That's sit. That's pretty fucking And yeah. I would just go yeah, inside yeah. my room and turn on some Netflix and just be like, all right. I'm yeah. going to make one of these make one of these shows in yeah. a minute. Yeah. yeah, but it was good for him. I, I mean, I love it. I, the, That's I, actually fucking hilarious. Yeah, I don't want to be the only one. Doing it? Yeah, start le- oh, yeah, go drive my car. No gas in it. That's the ultimate. Uh, oh, you oh you want to know the most you want to know the best one about me driving his car? We're working on Josh Wolf show. I was 18 years old. I had my license for probably about six months at this point in time. Uh-huh. And I went and dropped you off at the airport one weekend. It was okay. probably a Friday morning. Do, I, do, I, do I know this? Yeah, you know this. Oh, okay. It was it I saw it. So the deal was when he went out of town, uh, I could use his car. And but the deal was, I had to drive him to the airport when he left, and pick him up every time that he it's landed. A fucking amazing deal for you. Except, <sighs> except it was after a Saturday night at Sunday at LAX at seven a.m. Stay up. While there are people at my house, like I have to get up, go get him, and then come back to all of my friends either just waking up or still sleeping. So it, there were some days, but I was like, yeah, but I did have a car to take me to school, and I had a car on the weekend, so. It was worth it, definitely. I drop him off one morning, and I'm on my way back. 
this is the only time I've ever been pulled over by Highway Patrol or anybody for anything. I get pulled over in his car. Guy officer comes up and goes, "Hey, how you doing?" I'm like, "Good. What's what seems to be the issue?" And he goes, "Well, your your tags are expired." And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "I was like, well, this is actually my dad's car." He goes, "You have like uh, all the license and registration." I go, "Here's my license. Like, I think it's in here. Thank God you told me where it was. So at at one point in time in my life, so I knew how to." I think I might have said, "Hey, these tags might be expired at some point in time." So no, 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 no. <laughs> He never said that. And even if he did say it, guess what? It's I your job to that. get the tags. I know. A hundred percent. And so I got I got pulled over and they're like, it's just a fix it ticket. Like you just have to show up to the courthouse at like eight AM on this day. Pay like a I don't know, it was like a fifty dollar fine. But no mark. Didn't I go? Didn't you go? No, you <laughs> went to sh- you went to work. Yeah. I went oh, to right. yeah. the courthouse that's to get right. it done, and then came into work. That's right. That's right. I didn't go. He did. <laughs> now I remember because it was on my no. Because which it was, which one it was did on, I? But which which parking ticket did I have to go to court on? What well, mine wasn't a parking ticket. Mine was a highway patrol ticket. Mine was like a, like a, a citation. No, I mean it was one of those. Was it the with you with your head out the window? You had to put your you had to trouble for that. We were like 400 feet from our house getting off the freeway. God. And this highway patrol, highway this, patrol, this dude not his, a cop, highway his, patrol. Had his head out, out the window the, like a golden retriever, which was hilarious. Yeah. yeah it's and was super funny. And his, his face was, this, the wind was blowing his face. Yeah. But this it's highway patrol funny. wasn't on the highway, pulled off just off the base of the highway and out of a f- fucking car wash. Yeah. He pulled out of a car wash and we drove right by him. He saw me and he went, boom. And Ooh. we were like, I had no idea. I was like, hey, what's going on? You know, he was like, his head was out the window. I was like, who's? He was like, yeah, his. And I was like, yeah, he was acting like a dog. <laughs> Which is probably true. Yeah. Not going to lie. And the guy was like, well, he can't do that. I'm like, for real? Okay. So, but he was like, I'm going to have to write you a ticket. I'm like, what? Yeah. I went to court for that ticket. Did you win? Yeah, because he didn't show up. Why would you Good. show up? Why would, he's That's like, not even a law, they, is it? They never show up. He's like, I'm not, I'm not going downtown for the not a law. Head of, I think it is. So I think it's some like reckless endangerment. Yeah, I think like, it is. Like, just your head. The it was like a child. And, and oh, you like, were a kid. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. I was probably like eleven. Yeah, he wasn't like two. You know how crazy it is. But he wasn't. T- he wasn't like I didn't ha- have him out the window by his diaper like Michael Jackson. <laughs> you know what I mean? He he was like eleven, and buckled up. It, not like you That's know what I mean. He just had his head out the window. My dad's a truck driver, and every time we hit a dirt road, my thing was, you know how the there's handles right on the outside of diesel doors. Yeah, yeah. I would get to stand on it outside of the truck, hold the handle, and he would drive down the road to do the loads for like two three miles. I'd be hanging off the fucking truck. That shit was sick. We never got in trouble. That sounds and you got fun. Dude. Oh, it was fucking. Fun. I used to try to do no feet and hold. Like it was an action movie, like ah, it was pretty dangerous actually. But yeah, that doesn't sound. How old were you? Four. Five. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have been doing that. My dad was on fucking drugs. Oh, then, well, there and you he's go. like, yeah, you know what? That'd be kind of tight. Get out of the car. <laughs> um, the truck. My, my sister would be on the other one, on the other side. We were only going like ten miles an hour. Yeah, five. Still probably a little young for that. Uh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I started Definitely. driving at five. My dad was a tweaker when I was a kid, bro. <laughs> I was started driving. I've been driving my whole life. Um. I, when I was five, I used to sit on his lap and learn how to shift and steer, but I'm on his lap. And then, like, six, he'd be sitting next to me. Like, on, you know, there's a lot of space in a diesel. He'd be kneeling next to me, like, hands on it with me. And then, like, seven or eight, he would sit over there and he would let me drive on the fucking freeway. Foot on the pedal and everything. No. My dad is a monster. My sister did it, too. So I'd be sitting there, but my dad's right there, like, watching me. Like, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. You're like, slow down, slow down, like, Oh, fuck, fuck. But he would shift for me because I, I can't downshift as a eight year old. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> but I learned how to downshift at like 10 on the grapevine because my dad drives back and forth. So I've been driving my whole fucking life. I hate, I won't drive a stick shift. It's so boring. Yeah, not anymore. It's like, yo, how do you, you can't do anything else in a car if you have to do this. I got shit to do with it. I don't know. I know yeah, it sounds dangerous, but, like, but I got this other shit to do. But do they, I don't even know if they sell, do they sell sticks anymore? They have to. Definitely. They have to. Marty, they sell sticks anymore. New? Man, the Benz. 
Your mic off? Got the fucking pat- I got, Is your I, mic off? Because you want to know that as Mr. Mother- fucking yeah. joint rolling? That shit's got paddles on it. That's a, a, you know, I think that's kind of the new. Yeah, like I can't imagine any new car outside of like a race car. I have no fucking idea. I got to be honest. That's a good question. I would say, when's the last time you were in a car that was older than 19? I don't even know. But no 2000 cars have a stick shift, right? I don't think so. No. Uh, my a buddy of mine throughout high school drove a 2009 Scion TC that was stick shift. I don't know what that is. A Scion. You know what a Scion is? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Sigh on the car. Square ones? Uh, no, they were like they were like oh, a, rounded at the edges though, yeah, right? Yeah, and they had the spoiler at the end too. Did they, are they the ones that had the little hamsters in the commercials? Is that, a spo- oh, that, that was that was like the the Q. Uh, that was like the key uh, or the Nissan Q, right? Uh, something like that. But yeah, the the Scion TC had was stick in like 2009. Really? Uh, I don't fuck with that shit. Yeah, I mean, I learned to drive on a stick. The first car that I had was a station wagon that was four on the floor. Beep, beep, beep. And you can, I, oh, I could fucking go to empty uh, parking lots and just do donuts. Yeah, in the station wagon. Oh, that back end. Yeah. Oh, fuck <laughs> yeah. I just saw like, that's a heavy back end. Yeah, dude, it was a good one. Uh, I fucking loved having a stick as a kid, but I would hate it now. Yeah. Did you ever take cars as a kid without people knowing? <laughs> Not stealing. We moved. But you returned it. We moved. Okay, so I like this people story. would people would warm up their cars in the morning. Oh, those mushrooms. They're pretty good. Uh-huh. People would people would warm up their cars in the morning, and we we just moved them. You moved them. So if you lived across the street. And this dude lived there, and you both were warming up your car in the morning. You'd switch them? We would just switch them. Oh, my God. I'd be so upset and go, you, that was funny. Don't ever get in my car again. Yeah, you know, but my, da- that's funny. my dad was like, my dad was like, hey, um, that's Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> and, we, and we were like, no, nah, we're just joking. We're just moving them back and forth with having a laugh. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, but did you take that dude's car? I'm like, no, we didn't take it. It's right there. He's like. But you took it. That's stealing. It doesn't matter where you left it. You took it. And I was like, huh. He was like, I wouldn't do that anymore. Did they ever <laughs> question you? Nobody ever questioned you? They knew it was us. We were asked not to do that again. Yeah, okay. All right. It's all. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Because we thought it was so funny. That, That's ah, fucking hysterical. But That's funny. My that dad was like, fun. hey, People this is crazy. You're going to get shot. This is a real bad idea. You getting in somebody's car. I would never get into the person. That's scary. When it's running, super bad idea. Yeah, that's a trap. Not, not at all. That's a trap. Yeah, not at all. Yo, that's stuff way like riskier than what I was doing. What the fuck? Not in the town I grew up in, actually. Oh, okay, okay. So you knew you were okay doing it. Yeah. So you were the bad kids, and that was the worst thing you did? Uh, that's not that bad. Well, yeah. No, we that's weren't. Fun. I wouldn't say we were bad kids. That doesn't seem bad. No, we weren't bad kids. That seems pretty funny. Yeah. No, it's pretty harmless, I think. It I is harmless. I really I really like that story. Uh, we we were not we were not by kids. Did you ever take the car without him knowing? Uh well when he was out of town and like I like had like could use the car. Yeah, we, besides that, I'm talking about when he was like, yo, you can have the car. Besides that point, did you ever sneak the car? You had to have. He's on the road. Well, no, while he was on the road though, I didn't have to sneak the car. I'm saying before you were allowed to. No. Whoa, that's fucking awesome. I mean, that's great. That's that you're a good fucking kid. He I was a good kid. Snatched that shit the fuck up quick. He was a good kid, man. Pulled a good burger, but Simbad him. <laughs> ruined the whole fucking side of the car. That's what it would I used to take my grandma's Cadillac a lot. A lot. Where? And my friend Joe's just do drugs and then I come back. It was so tight. A brand new white fucking Cadillac with the gold plates and shit. It was cool. Hey, trying to decide if I should have this other one. Hold on. I want to say something. I took my other one like, what, 15 minutes ago? Mm-hmm. About six, seven minutes ago. It just dropped because I didn't have enough water and it got stuck. <laughs> and I didn't want to like, it'll drop. It'll drop. So on camera, Marty, when you're editing uh, this, you'll see me like, 
it just like dissolved. Oh no! Yeah, I'm I in the you. I'm in the same situation. Marty, could you do us a favor? Uh-huh. In the little refrigerator, could you get yep. him uh, another water? Of course, because he needs to drink. To actually, oh, actually, could you just get three of them? Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, here's our little intermission. Thank you, sir. Thank Thanks, you, man. Yeah, uh, dude. I wish I had a soundboard to play fucking waiting music right now for Marty. That uh, heartbeat one was a bad it trick. Was scary, yeah. Yeah. That one's pretty funny. Oh, you know we won't do it, but we had a plan. Uh, we didn't do it. You know what? We had a plan to do to fuck with you once the mushrooms hit. But this is like six months ago for the soundboard, and I was going to pretend like, what? What are you talking about? Uh, that would have been a good one. That would have been. Oh, don't worry. We'll get you. Even though I told you, you're gonna forget, and we'll get you one day. That's a 100 percent true. It's gonna well, happen. Yeah, you're 100%. gonna forget. There is no doubt about that. I mean, 30 minutes from now. Yeah, I forgot we were talking about the alligators, and that was today. What alligators? Exactly. <laughs> I fucking forgot. We talked about them at the beginning and how they're dinosaurs. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, so yeah, are yeah. pelicans. See? Yeah. Pel- pelican style. Yeah, dude. I, I'm. They haven't fully hit me. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Mid-Roll Ad Read, and this is one of our longtime sponsors. This is Manscaped. Before we start, do me a favor. Go to www.manscaped.com forward slash YOLA. That's 20% off your whole order, anything you buy, plus free shipping. Guys, it's spring cleaning, and what does that mean? You know what we're going to say. It's time to shave your dick and balls. All right, don't be gross. We say it all the time. Don't be nasty as fuck. Yeah, you can get a razor, but this is the iPhone for your dick. It's just better. It's going to be better, and it's not just that. They have many more products, toner, cologne, underwear, travel cases, hair shampoo, hair conditioner. It's not just for your dick anymore, but that's the staple, and that's what we're going to stand by. So April's Testicular Cancer Society Awareness. Manscaped has partnered with the Testicular Cancer Society to bring more awareness awareness to this and it's actually something that should be talked about and you know manscape they're going to do something hilarious it's for testicular cancer and the slogan is we save balls i love manscape so much guys right now go to www.manscape.com forward slash yola that's 20 percent off everything support the brands that support us and i know this one is super goofy this is one of my favorite episodes let's get back to it thank you thank you for everyone at home this is thank a you, reminder to please thank drink you. some water Marty, what time are we at right now? We I think it's like 2.37 or something. 2.20. How did I know this was going to be at least a whole, 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 that, <laughs> what was that face? <laughs> that was the, con- oh, you're contemplating. Do you need it? <laughs> <laughs> Do you need it? No. How, you feeling? how you feeling right now? How you feeling right now? I mean, how do, how do I see him? Cool. Jeff, how Josh do I has a legacy on this show to upload. Yeah, you, you, still, <laughs> you still seem like you're on this planet. What's the clip? I'm, I'm fir- son pleads with father not to do drugs in front of him. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. So there's the, goes, do you need it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? That was genuine. Uh, the high five. Yeah, and that can, yeah. The most great. Yeah, listen, man. This is the wholesome. I, yeah, I won't take that next one. Uh, I mean, right. yeah, I feel like you're good. I don't know if that was, I don't. <laughs> I, I, I'm not saying. I'm looking at you. I feel like. You're yeah, I'm, I'm not saying no to it completely because I like the chaos also. But you know, yeah, no. I mean, am I good? I feel pretty good. Are these walls going fucking crazy? No. Nah. Right. It's very subtle. Yeah. Yeah, it's there, but it's like I don't. I could totally function. Yeah. Like yeah. Nothing. Well, then take the third. Fuck it. Oh, fucking love that. <laughs> that was the if you feel fine. And How just, long ago? Because I don't have a real sense of time. Right at now. least thirty minutes. At least, maybe wait ten more minutes. You know what I'm gonna do? What? I'm gonna stand up. Oh, it's the first time I've ever do it. Do you know what I mean? Because that's when push, you know how high you are. Okay. Push the mic that's away. True. Don't you think? Okay, that's true. Am I the only one who has that theory? You're right, though. What's that? So if you push the mic away, you're gonna smack yourself on it. Yeah, and take your headphones off so you don't get dragged back down. Good, <laughs> yo. Stand. But do you know what I'm saying? Oh, Aware- I get it. Awareness. This Awareness. You know what? I'm going to stand. Is this room is, is this room <laughs> feel feel heavy? You look way tall. Like my arms ripping. You look like a giant when you stood up right now. Hey, by the way, I'm definitely higher than I was down there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm literally my perception is fucking weird. Yeah, by the way, I you feel look really like you, giant. You like, look like a, the tallest I, man on earth I right now. I feel huge right now. What like, the fuck is happening? Is it these low chairs? Do you want me to stand up? Would that really? Hold Maybe the mushrooms did. did. Let me see. Yeah, you stand. You stand. Let's see. Okay, let's see. This avatar body would do. 
Fuck because you. by the way, when I stood up, I was like, "Am I that tall?" I looked at him. Is he that tall? Is he standing on something? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's like when your shadow fully forms. That is crazy. Never stopped. Are you guys all right? Do you seem you're having extra a tall? Cordian no, of a body. Like it just kept going. Chair. You don't feel taller than usual. You look like taller giant. than usual. That's the episode name. Taller Are you than taller usual? than usual? You look. Like, Dude, giant. Uh, you look giant. Jack Skellington. Yeah. Kept, I prefer Slender Man. Go. Oh, oh. Dude, it was like, it, he, you're right. It was like, oh, when he does He kept that, unfolding. Yeah, when does that ride stop? Like, he kept... <laughs> he just kept going up and up. Wow, yeah. Remember when we, you guys both just stood up? You guys are related? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah you guys are pretty fucking but, related. But did you feel taller than usual? No, when I was standing up, I just I just think you're higher than usual. <laughs> By the way, that's a great name for an album. That was a uh, uh, Josh uh, season opener, higher than usual. That's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. yeah let's go. Uh, Marty, how we look on this camera since we stood up? Are we still good? Yeah. All right, good. Yeah. Good that's the first time anyone's ever stood up on this show. First well, high, highness check. Right. Yeah. I know. Huh? You stood up to see how high you are. What a gauge. Don't do, do you never do that? I have never done that in my life. I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Out of all the times of how high I am. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've ever gotten up and gone, huh? I just I've feel, laid down. I, 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 but I feel like I've laid down. when I stand up is when I know how high I am. Because I'm never as high sitting down as I am standing up. I guess I feel you on that. Like when I'm on psychedelics, laying down is a whole nother world. Different situation. Love it. But but like stoned. I'm I'm way less stoned sitting down. Standing up. Like yeah, I saw that weed you sold me was bad, but like full week stand up. Yeah. You yeah, gotta yeah. stand Did up you when you're smoking stupid. You dummy. <laughs> you I gave dummy. you I gave you stand up weed and I sit <laughs> <Yeah>. down. <weed. laughs> oh stop. You know how many, oh, I'm so glad I'm not a piece of shit. You dude, know how many people I could have burned like that when I was a kid? T the, I'm so glad I have good karma. The dude who first started selling me weed can Billy. Make, Oh, you remember him? Yeah. Billy something. Yeah, he just, he, he, yeah, he, he what? Jacob, he convinced me that seeds were the way to go. What are you talking about? Because he was like, I was like, hey man, there's more seeds this week. And he was like, yeah. Dude. Oh, when you started. Yeah, yeah he was you. like, yeah, dude, you get to, I'm saving them for you. You get to plant them. These are seeds, dude. These are weed seeds. Pretty soon you won't need me. Oh, yeah, it's good. Man. Oh, it's I, good. Yo, man, I was washing dishes at 15 years old in a kitchen, and that seemed like I was like, "Well, always make sure you leave just enough so I can roll a joint." He was like, oh, "Okay," and then he would just seed it up. And then I remember I had like this drawer full of seeds, and I showed my uncle's. I showed Adam. I was like, "Hey, fucking," tss, tss. and he was like, "What?" I was like, "A fucking." Dude's been selling me seeds, and he's like, "You're so stupid." <laughs> That's not how that works. And he was that like, was "Definitely." But not then how he that said, works. "He goes, what was your plan? Where were you gonna? You just gonna plant them in mom's garden? Like, where were you gonna grow your weed? You dumb dumb." Yeah. You throw it in anywhere on your walk to school. That's what I did when I was a kid, that I could periodically look at. I did it in Oregon once. How did that go? I fucking moved away and forgot about him. <laughs> I hope they're huge. That would be amazing. <laughs> I moved like a month later. Was it on somebody's land? This is the park. But the park uh, is a forest. What? The park's like has oh. a hell of trees in Portland. Oh, so it's right in front of a mountain. So you went into the forest, Just marked went. your spot. Yeah, it's a big tree. Uh lined up with that guy's house way out there. That's what I did. Yeah. You would have never found that spot. Never. No. Never. No, of course not. Some I thought I was all cool. Shit. Yeah, yeah <laughs> some Josh Shank shit. Hey, Under or some Dwight. Folk. Walk to you, hear the bees. Andy Duvane. Duvane? Uh, Andy Dufresne. Yeah. Dufresne. 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 Yeah. Uh, That's a good Dufresne. motherfucking movie. Yo. Yeah, it's about time. We all time favorite movie, Josh. I don't know if I can give you that. Okay, all time not. What's your favorite two comedies you could watch all the time? Who? <sighs> Um, why can't I remember the name of that? Talladega oh. Nights, Ricky Bobby. That's what I would put no, up there I for me. I fucking do like that a lot. 
Step uh, Brothers. Um, that's a great one too. This is the end. Oh that's yeah, such a good one. God. That was a good fucking movie. Yeah, it's funny. So most comedies aren't funny that third act, and it was funny the entire. It was a good movie. The entire time, funny. Yeah, it was never not funny, and it got more ridiculous. And anything with Danny McBride and James Franco, that whole riff about jerking off on each other. It's good. Yo, Danny McBride's just a funny fucking person. Tropic too. Thunder. Yo, okay, my cousin William, that's one of his favorite movies. He tells me, God. watch it with the commentary on. Because Robert Downey Jr. stays in character through the entire fucking DVD commentary. And apparently Ben Stiller shows up late. And they do not let him fucking forget about it for the whole two hour movie of commentary. Yeah. I still have yet to do it. I'm gonna have to do that. I have yet to do it. My cousin William tells me, like, you haven't watched the commentary? Because remember, he goes, I don't fucking drop my, I don't break character the DVD release. Remember he says yeah. that? Yeah. So he stays in character to the fucking commentary. Jesus. Yeah, that was hilarious, man. That's hilarious. Jesus. I took him, I remember I took you to that. We sat right up, right up close, I think, to the screen. Yep. Yo, th that opening, those three movie, fake movie trailers. Oh, that was some good shit. Fucking good night. Yeah, that was good. That was the like... opening of that. Come on. There are so many funny... But I don't think you could do that movie today. No, oh. people get too butthurt about it. There's so many things you couldn't do. You couldn't do it was a lot of that. Simple movie Jack. Was simple Jack. <laughs> simple Jack. You, you couldn't do Simple Jack. You couldn't do Rob, all of Robert Downey Jr.'s character. That's right. His entire character. <laughs> Yo, Simple Jack. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't Yo, do. Stiller, you couldn't do Simple Jack. You couldn't do Robert Downey Jr. I say Robert the, Downey Jr. I would vote for that all day. But do you, that more. You can't. That was funny. You can't do. You couldn't do that. He also did Asian in that movie, which you can't do. Yep. But you know why it was funny? It's because his character was breaking away from I the get, movie. Oh, I get it. You know, like I it, get it. I think that's why people get so upset. Like it's the dumb guy's character in the movie. Yeah, no, playing an actor. It was like, but that movie was so fucking funny. Holy shit! Yeah, that's a good fucking movie, man. Uh, I what love the, those two. I, you know, and if you were talking about old school, like me growing up, go Fletch. I've never seen Fletch. Yeah, I'm not even, not even sure it would hold up. No? I, I, it's sad when movies don't hold up. Yeah. I've watched some movies recently and went, oh. Yeah, I think for me, like, if two comedies growing up would probably be Fletch. I don't know. I loved Major League. That's a good one. I loved it. That's a good one. I, and I, it wasn't because it was the funniest movie. I mean, would you come back to the future comedy? No. I mean, not like in its own Not a class, comedy, right? No. It's like an action. Uh, I, I would say it's like a comedic, dramatic. Action comedy? Because all the bullshit they were I, going I through. I would go too. action comedy, maybe. But I don't know Because the sports would, movies, I guess it would be action. I, I don't know if it would be. Well, also, and all the action of them traveling through fucking time. With all that shit. But like, so I, 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 I what think comes first, time travel or teleportation? As a question, yeah, like just like this is where we're changing the subject right now. Like I that's have the, no fucking idea. Uh, <laughs> we're just changing the subject now. I just wanted to make sure that's what I was focusing on. We were good in that. I was good in that spot. Look at that face that happened. <laughs> He's hot, man. Hell, I just, I just wanted to make sure the I was mic on the just right held track. Josh's head up for yeah. a second. Yeah. It bounced it back up. <laughs> gunk, gunk. <laughs> What's there were? Ah. It's soft. <laughs> I hope teleportation. That's the one superpower I would have oh, if I could have it. Really? Yeah. Teleportation? Yeah. I just want to fly and not be able to get shot. Because motherfuckers would shoot at your ass flying over their house. Yeah. yeah. But teleporting for just like if I could just go anywhere, it'd be great. E e I would love that. Uh, yeah, that was a crazy subject change. Teleportation, huh? What a subject. Yeah, my, my my brain just no. I love it. All right, so teleportation. You, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking! Didn't you just pose the question? <laughs> I, I forgot the fucking question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I do. I forgot what the question. Uh, was. I, th I think you said which comes first, time travel or teleportation. Oh, and, 
fuck. And then I said teleportation, but that's the one superpower I would have. Oh, I and think... And then what's the... what You're trying to figure out what the superpower... I think teleportation happen. comes before time travel. I think the I think it's happening right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. But I wish it did. What if I just fucking <laughs> boom disappear? And you'd be like, oh, what? Shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Just a hat and the mic <laughs> <laughs> or the headphones. Wing, 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 wing. What the fuck? Yeah, that would be amazing. We come through the door, forty years old. We're like, no, <laughs> dude, go back. Reverse it. Yeah, I found the best drugs in the future. Yo, you were like, go that's back. just. I just really you know, imagine him going. That I gotta tell you, I'm pretty high. I think, yo, I think teleportation happens in some kind of form or fashion in the next fifty years. I'll be dead. Yeah, I think so. I think it'll be soon. I'll be alive. Yeah, thanks for rubbing that in. You, I'll be hey, enjoying you, all the benefits. Yeah. You, <laughs> you pointed out that you I were going to be dead. I, so that's you didn't fault. have to point out that you were going to be alive. <laughs> I mean, I felt like it was necessary. <laughs> One of us has to enjoy it. Yeah. Well, Hold on. Next. Enjoy teleportation. That's going to be the last thing I say to you. We're, <laughs> we're going we're gonna to be. Oh, we're going gonna to be in the hospital. And I'll be like. Joy teleportation. Yes, yeah, so that's it. <laughs> I love you. I just want you to know. You bought wow. that fucking porn. I hope you enjoy, I hope you enjoy teleportation. <laughs> and I know it was you <laughs> that bought the porn. Yo, can you guys do a skit with makeup artists and shit? This would be so fucking good. This is the best version of Click I've ever fucking seen in my life. Yo, dude, can I tell you, we were, I was in oh, Click. My cheeks hurt. I was in Click with Jacob and his sister and his brother, right? You were in Click? The movie. We were watching the movie. We were in the Oh, movie. you were, we were watching, watching him. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We we're in the movie theater. I got you. We we're watching it. And uh, there was some, there was a heavy scene in there. Yeah, that, where the rain's hitting him in the face and Adam Sandler's dying. The, like the, there's some heavy father son stuff in there, right? And so, and I, and I, as I had had sons and also a dad, but having sons now, it really hit me in a different way. So there was a scene, I, I don't remember what the scene was, but I remember I was, I was tearing up a little bit, you know? And my oldest son, I guess he was probably, he had to be 10 or something like that. He just goes, hey, here he is. He goes, are you crying? I said, yeah, a little bit. And he said, he looks at, he looks at Jacob and his sister, who are younger than him, and he goes, looks at me and he goes, get it together. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, damn it, so yeah, I'll do better. <laughs> I got you. Get it together. Oh yeah, he was looking at he them like, it, like he was looking at them like stand up for yourself. You can't be crying in front of them. Get uh, your shit together. Yeah. That's fucking incredible. It was so funny. I that's the best fucking thing I've ever heard. Get it together. Get, get it, it together. together. Holy shit! Like you're a pit, like you're a fucking pitcher. Yeah. Uh, fucking yeah get it together, it, man. You gotta. Uh, I don't know what you need to do, but you need to get it together. Yeah. Yo, that's fucking incredible. Love it. Dude. Amazing. So, sorry, another subject change. Are you ready for this thing I saw? And I want your guys' opinion because it blew my fucking mind. Let's I do it. This. Wait, what time is it? I don't fucking know. 9.33. How long have we been doing this? 2.41. 2.35. All right. <laughs> He's waiting for your reaction. I'm not telling you no. You know I'm driving. Yeah, but it's the first time you've ever in your life said out loud. You may have said it in your head. Do you sure need you to need do that. that? It's the first time you've ever said it's it out. It's almost like, I'm not mad at you. It's not the first time I've said that to you. Just yeah, for sure. I don't know about it. When would have been another time? Another, I don't know. Sorry for giving your dad drugs. Wait, you might have said that once to me before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but did I? But I didn't take it. No, you didn't listen, so you took <laughs> it. 
<laughs> this doesn't have a good ending. This isn't a fucking oh, happy ending fuck on that one. I mean, it is for you, but not in the sense of listening to your son. Well, the best part is I feel honestly, I feel like Ooh. he's so, um, oh, shit. I know he's going to get me exactly where I need to go. He's a good driver. He's good driver. Just- Good driver and just, you know. Safe and he's my buddy, man. Yeah, I'm just keeping it straight because I got to make sure his goofy, Good. A, goofy ass gets home. I got to be honest. It's really funny thinking about this. Yeah, like, gave your dad drugs. I'm sorry. You shouldn't do all those drugs. I got to make sure your goofy ass gets home. <laughs> Yo, my fucking head kind of hurts from laughing. Oh, my that God. That hasn't happened in a very long yeah. time. Yo, I closed my eyes for a while, and when I looked up, yeah, these mushrooms hit me a little. I definitely feel, uh, I wasn't even talking to the mic, my bad. Stand up. Maybe you should stand up. Is that like a ludicrous stand up? I'll do it if it's a ludicrous stand up. Hold on. Let's see if, let's see if you're higher. Oh, <laughs> I definitely felt a little more wobbly. Than yeah, you get a little bit of the bottom. <laughs> so that's why you stand up. You yeah. get lightheaded and you yeah. almost fall. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. All right. That's the whole point of it. All right. We yeah. all stood up. Marty's been standing up. And yeah, Marty's been moving this entire yeah, listen, time. Listen, you know what? Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck happened right now? Yeah, so you get a little higher because you're. Don't you? You're are you a li- fucking genius. Are you a little higher? I just felt like they hit me a little hard. Yeah, 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 right yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's because your blood, your your heart. Marty, jump in here. I, like, <laughs> 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 oh, can't, nobody can bail you out of that one. No, I think your heart, your your heart rate. Tell him, tell him, Marty. Marty, get it, get jump in. I, I think <laughs> you're. <laughs> I think your heart rate or something, your heart goes faster, which moves the things in through your body more. I wish we had overlays. So you could put this over Josh, but the more you know. Yeah. Right yeah. over it. Yeah, hey, listen. Do you have that on the soundboard? That'd you be guys, sick. You guys, oh, that'd be amazing. You guys <laughs> know what I'm here. talking about? The tum 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 tum. It happens a little. The tum 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 tum. Yeah. <laughs> just spitting bars. That's just like a fucking 112 zero. song or some shit. Yo. Zero bars. Um, complete. Zero. Zero bars. Zero. I liked your guys' uh, It's a no for me, dog. It's all right. <laughs> it's going to be a no for me, dog. <laughs> you guys did a thing where you talked about modern slang and then he tried to interpret it. Uh, that was fun. He taught me what a. Grizzly was no, no, a glizzy. Oh, he said <laughs> grizzly like the bear. <laughs> yeah, <I'm sorry. laughs> it's a it's a glizzy. Yeah, G L I Z Z Y. Spelled it for you. Yeah, I gotta help him out. There's no R. There's no R in there. So he told me what a glizzy was. <laughs> Is that what you said? <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, just laughing at him. Okay. <laughs> I was just spit his water, water out. <laughs> okay. So he sucked. He told me that, but what else did he tell me? I had to guess what it was. Did I have to guess? Yeah, I would give you the word, and you would have to guess. Yeah, what it meant. that's what I watched. This shit was fucking hilarious. Yeah. Do that more. What? What? What were some other terms that you taught me? Mm, bet. Huh? Like bet? Did you teach me bet? I think that's from my era. It's an it's a very it's an old school word for sure, but motherfuckers use it heavy now. They do very yeah. heavy now. Yeah, you've I, never used it before. I used it tonight, dude. <laughs> After you've been hearing <laughs> me, you said you I did. Said, you said to me out loud, "Did you just say bet?" Yeah, you know why you said it because I'm constantly saying it, and I text it to you all the time. So you were like, "Oh yeah, I'll just throw that in here and see if he notices." That's bad. Uh, That's mission bad. accomplished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Mission Come on. Accomplished. I know that move. But it's definitely because I say it a bunch. Oh, bet? <laughs> Was that close? <laughs> Not really. Did I do it right? Did I no. use it right? Did I, did I, did I do that? Oh, yeah. no. Oh, fuck, man. This shit hurts. Dude, did you, do you ever remember 
Um, smoking yourself deaf a little bit. Um, one time I ate so many edibles, uh, hash edibles, that I couldn't hear anything but a loud ring. You know, yeah, or or like, it's like in, thirty it, seconds. Yeah, it's a tough one. That's scary. And the voice sound, all voices sound very so Charlie Brown yeah, teacher. And you don't know if you want to like let anybody know. Yeah, because passes. because they're gonna be like, "How high are you?" And you're gonna be like, "What you say?" Really high. Yeah, you're just I'm some of the highest I've ever been in my life. I smoked myself deaf. That's how high I am. I've been. Yeah. S- it's only off yeah. edibles though. That bad. I, I the, actually it only happened to me the only times it ever happened to me I was young young. Oh, this I, this happened like four years ago, five years ago. Oh no, shit. Oh yeah, it was not fun. Did you ever take that edible again? My friend's a dummy, and he was just putting shatter inside of his sauce and putting it right on the burgers. So we were we were going to town, and I ate a lot and a lot more. I did a story on I fell on a woman. Like where in my booth? I was at a booth running a booth like this, almost nearly shitting my pants. <laughs> wait, wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait! I missed a beat. Running what booth? My my booth at a High Times Cup. Oh, okay, okay. I was okay. running a booth. Yeah, and I was fucked up, and then I fell on a lady multiple in, times. <laughs> okay, she's running the booth next to me. She's sitting in a chair. Oh, I trip. You know, there's no walls. I trip. I land on her. So I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. The second time I land on this woman. This is like... She's in the back of the booth and someone leaves some bags in the way and I trip. You know, just random, but I'm fucking high spinning. Like, not fun. I trip and I go, oh, elbow full force. And I turn around like, get the fuck out of here. She's out of her chair. Did you knock her out of her chair? Out of her fucking chair. I'm not even done. Third and the final time I landed... On this lady, same lady, same person, over me, the course of eight hours. Let me ask you a question: Third time boner or no? <laughs> oh, fuck! No. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> See, all this whole time, this was my this was my uh, joke. This whole time, I yeah. did it on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The third time, I landed full body force. Oh, I just no. passed out. I would like fucking got dizzy, bam, and. I saw it was her. I'm like, there's no way in the world I'm not getting killed after this. This is insane. I, it was genuinely none of it on purpose. But the thing is, I was so fucked up. Let's see what happens. I put my body weight on her to get off of her because I was so like, Ugh. so I put like my arm on her to get up. She oh, she no. she went in. She was so fucking pissed. I, I thought she was gonna start hitting me. I would have let her. I felt so bad. Yeah, dude, listen, by the way. It was bad. Second time. Um, first time, you know. Yeah. The thing is, both one. first times, it was their bags in my booth on the floor where I'm running back and forth getting stuff. And I went, oh, and I landed on her the first oh, time. Oh, her bags. Yeah, I'm like, yo, can you get your guys' bags yeah, out her, of my fucking booth I got? Her, her chocolate went into your peanut butter. <laughs> Yeah, and her peanut butter got into my fucking job. That's right. And then I elbow dropped her. Yeah, and then that's why I karate yeah, chopped her in the fucking face. Yes, dude. And yes. Oh. <laughs> so, you know, my life's Seinfeld right now. Marty knows the story. Uh-huh. At the end, an hour later, I'm cleaning up. I'm walking to my car, putting my stuff away, and I see a guy that I know that runs a company. And he's like, yo, I'm going to go get you some stuff. Uh, I wasn't here all day. I had people running my booth. He walks up two minutes later <clears throat> with his wife I haven't met. It's the bitch I landed on three times. No fucking way. Guys, Rosie's staring at me. I just look at her. She's like that. Looking at me, I'm like, get. I'm glad you're here. So you can back me up that this is real. Seinfeld moment. She looked at me. He introduced me to her. She played it cool. And she was, I mean, she was screaming at me just an hour. I mean, going in. Calling me everything. And I just took it. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I was just so dizzy. The third time I passed out, I just like opened my eyes. I was on top of this lady, elbow, all. Oh. So she shook my hand like, oh, nice to meet you. And she didn't say shit. They walked away. I'd never seen this man again. No. Do you know how bad I felt? Bumping into somebody at a concert three times. is like, What the fuck? Insane. I landed full body weight no. on her, on her fold-up chair. Good. So that was the highest I've probably ever been. When you asked earlier... Oh, no. That's when I went deaf that day. No. 
and I have like three or four hours. Don't I don't recall anything. I just saw pictures of me the next day. Like what? I took pictures with you. Oh my god! Oh. I blacked out completely. You were, were you realizing in in real time how ridiculous it was? No, because I was so violently fucked up that I didn't want to be that high anymore. Because my friend told me don't eat those ones because he's like, I feel like I'm about to start peeking on shrooms right now. I'm like, you're a Bitch, I was talking shit. And then I told Rosie, are these, because they had shroom tinctures in burgers too. I'm like, did you guys give me fucking mushrooms? Because I'm dizzy. I can't fucking hear. Oh, but you know what I mean? I'm running a booth and my teeth hurt. And I told you, my teeth felt like they were going to fall out of my fucking face. It's like there was so much pressure. It was the weirdest feeling I ever felt. And that happened to be on CBD pills. Uh, on CBD pills? Um, this guy makes CBD pills. And make, it was like eight years ago. And it felt like my teeth. Like when you smash your toe, felt like my teeth and my gums. Oh, dude, I hate that feeling, that throbbing feeling. Oh, that's how it felt. Anyway, that was the highest I, I've ever been. The high, like, and how for how long was that? I fucking met eight hours, but I probably ate like six thousand milligrams ish, and it was a lot, unregulated. No, this is pre legal companies. Yeah, so motherfuckers were going hard. Um, hey, how would you feel if I went pee? On me or like right here? Or how would I feel about it? Yeah, what if I get you up? Know, you know, what we could do. We would just go like this. Beep. That was dicey. That was dicey. That was dicey. I wasn't sure if I was making it back. But fucking ta-da! Can you get back in the chair? Can I get back in the chair? Yeah. What kind of question is that? Just make sure. Can you get back in the chair? I would love the chair. Oh. Well, <laughs> apparently so. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you a little secret. Ready? All right. Ready? Go. I've never blown my nose in my life. That sounds preposterous. And tell me how. That's what I said, by the way. I just have never blown my. I've never blown my. I don't think I would like it. I don't. Um, is this a known thing you know about? I I just heard, heard him. It? I heard him say it to me today, actually, for the first time. But now that I think back on it, like you've never seen me blow my nose. Today. You're so lucky. You don't have no nasal. No, no. Problems. He definitely does. What? Like sometimes he'll get sick, but he'll never he'll never blow his nose. He'll just like stick something up there and just like feel like he clears it out. Yeah. Yeah, I'll clear it out. With like, mm -hmm. you never went. <sighs> no, I don't think I'd like it. It sounds real yucky. Did you just realize this, or have you been no aware of this your whole life? That I've never blown my nose? Yeah. Oh, I knew. I've known. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm aware that that's not something that I do. You don't want boogers all over your mouth and your lips and that's stuff? That's the part that I really don't like. Okay. And you know what's funny is I was telling Jacob today, look, man, you know, what's what really I think turned me off to nose blowing in general was my grandfather, because he used to carry a handkerchief. And that's the grossest thing. Like, they used to blow their nose yeah. and put it back in yeah. their pocket and Same then master. just blow their nose again and yeah. put it back in their pocket. And then if your, nose, if your nose blew, they would just take their handkerchief out and rub your face. That's horrible. <laughs> what are we doing? Like, and and they would just, you know what I'm saying? Like, how many times are we going back to that handkerchief? It's a one time, and then why are we putting it back? Why are you putting it back in your pocket? <laughs> what I don't get is... What the fuck is happening? How do, have you never had to blow your nose? Your nose doesn't run? Yeah, it runs. I use some Kleenex or something. I mean, yeah, it runs. <laughs> you just got real fucking cool there. I just use some Kleenex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> would you do it right now for the first time? Kleenex? No, would you blow your... <laughs> Would you like blow it's your a nose? Drug? I'll do some Kleenex right now. I got nothing in my nose to blow. Perfect. And you can do it and not get snot all over your lips. Did I do it? Did I do it? <laughs> that, by the way, that's called breathing. Oh. Well, I've been doing that for a long time. <laughs> You're good at it. Nailed it. Well yeah, done. Nailed yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> we call that manual breathing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, MB. I'm good at that. All right. And non-manual. What's non-manual called? Automatic. That's the one. Thank you. We just went over this the other day. With a car. Oh, that's right. That was today. 
No, Thomas, remember you were like, oh, shit, I just had to switch into manual breathing there for a second. Oh, so fucked up the other day when I was taking giant dad with... Oh, God, I got to breathe for myself for a minute. Jesus yeah. Christ. Wow, that's no, cause I was Because I was so... Yeah. Yeah, I was a FaceTime, I think. By the way, that's maybe another reason why I wouldn't dab. I, I don't take the normal size person's dab and or the same shit. This man You doesn't could take a little dab. You could take... I don't take globs anymore, but you could... You could be cool with it. Yeah, yeah, I do like the word glob. Yeah. Glob. They take glob. like they like smash things on the fucking like they smash <laughs> things. We like stone cold <laughs> and fucking take When I met sheds. Thomas, he had a, it was like a fucking menorah and they were just like smashing down works on it. What? Is that the word? Yeah, like a menorah, yeah, that's yeah. right. I did? What did At I that do? party that we always yeah, I don't know if you were doing At it. The but. Party? Did you ever see my menorah bong? Do you remember the menorah bong? Oh, I definitely remember the menorah bong. The menorah bong? That was awesome. Oh, dude. It was... I used it when you were out of town. You what? (laughs) You think I was just going to let that beauty sit in your cabinet and do nothing because you weren't ever going to use it? Was it locked? No. It's cabinet locked. That's your... That's your... It wasn't a single locked fucking cabinet in the house. That's on you. Yeah, we didn't lock anything. It's all good. Because you... But your mom would not let me lock anything up. What? She wouldn't like the way it looked. Oh, gotcha. It'd be weird. Yeah, and, and like... This is a key lock, and it just blends in with the fucking... Like a normal house. Like a normal, yeah, like a normal <laughs> ass key lock. What oh, you mean on the door? You lock. mean on the doors? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why we didn't have locks on doors. Yeah, none of us... <laughs> well, we had one lock on a door, and the door locked from the outside. So oh, that was fuck? so funny. So you, people would lock you in your room. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but but I figured out I figured out about two weeks in that with my nail or with a coin I could turn yeah, it yeah, yeah. and yeah. just walk out. But that was weird. The only lock on that door in that house was on the outside of your door. You eventually had a lock on oh, our door. We had a lock put on, on your door. door. Yeah, but we didn't want you guys to have locks on your doors. Boo, <laughs> boo. <laughs> that was trying to sneak your weed, man. Fuck. Yeah, that was not. Be doing it. We didn't want you guys to have locks on your doors. We we wanted you to know that we weren't coming in any time, but we, we could. I could fucking Kramer slide into your room at yeah, any time. Fucking, you guys got into a phase, though, when you just didn't even, like, knock and, like, let me answer. You knocked as you opened the door. And I was like, hey, man, what the? It's a very parental thing. What the fuck? Hey. Hey, just letting you know. Move, yeah. Yeah. Hey, That's like, your move, too? Yeah, I Kramer in all the fucking time with the hey. knock the door. Yeah. Do you? Yeah, the yeah. knock and walk. If the, if the door the is knock locked, and walk I'm sounds dirty, but it isn't. Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> That's right. I'm assuming they're, they're cooking. I'm assuming crack. the worst thing possible if you got that fucking door locked. Hey, if the door is locked and it's quiet in there, shit's going down. <laughs> there is some shit. If there's if the door is locked and it's quiet, you're not going to see what's going on in there. Oh god. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. It's going. They're, they're going. They're going downtown to clown town. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that is awful. That yeah. is awful. <laughs> that is awful. Well, scariest shit I've ever heard. That's right. I know, yeah. right? That is right. just <laughs> awful. Marty, you're rolling joints now, man. That's like the eighth joint I've seen you roll today. Yeah. You're on it. Yeah. Sure. I'm this, saying, because you've been on it. Time. Yeah, you've Josh been on inspired it. me. I like rolling joints again to shit. Yeah. Different Josh. Josh Kesselman. Yeah, different, Sorry, different Josh. But this Josh should try and roll some joints. Soon. I yeah. can't yeah. roll any joints. I can teach you in about 10 minutes. I, th- I, think, you, I think he also could teach you. Yeah, be right. I, I don't think I could learn anything right now. <laughs> Not right now. No. Not that I don't even want to fucking teach right now. What could you learn right now if I was like, here, I would like to teach you something, and you'd be like, this is what a I... A fact? Do. Yeah, a fact? I can retain a fact for okay, sure. Okay, hold on. Let me, see if I can, let me see if I can find one. Okay. I got, I got one. Oh, okay. Um, do you want to know the reasons why sloths are move as slow as they do? Uh oh. Go. Let me let me guess. Let me guess. Oh, guess. There's two reasons. Okay. Yeah. Okay. One. The fact that you even know this is astonishing. I asking, watched a lot of Animal Planet you're as a asking kid. Asking me why do sloths move super slowly? Yes. One because they can't move that fast. <laughs> <laughs> physical capabilities. Yeah. Physical. Thank you very much, Marty. Thank you. Take it away. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? My Maybe because they they it can't exert that much energy. Maybe it has something to do with how much they eat. Not how much they eat, what they eat. 
what they eat. And so it's very low carb. No. What do they eat? You're thinking you're thinking the wrong way. It's high carb. No, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> That's the right. If you say low carb, it's <laughs> the wrong way. The other way no, is high carb. No, 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 no. It doesn't deal with anything carbs. It has to deal with like specifically right. what they eat. Gluten free. No, I mean, I mean, I guess technically, sure. <laughs> what I got? What what's going on? Wait, wait. I gotta ask one last question. And this is the last question I want to ask, and this is for real. What are we talking about right now? <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Give me a fact." You yeah. He said, "Give him a fact." <laughs> And you said, all right, let me think about that. And I said, I have one about why sloths move as slow as they Only do. Only one not Oh, on that's, right, that's right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. At the table, it. by the that's way. Right. Yeah. Okay. So why do sloths move that slowly? Well, so what they eat is a bunch is eucalyptus. So the eucalyptus is like high. Did you call me? <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> and so eucalyptus. Did you swear at your mother? Uh, no, not today. The <laughs> what? That's just a joke. Oh. Um, the eucalyptus is high in a substance that uh, acts as like what THC acts like in humans. So, so they're just really high? So they're just really high all the time. So they move so slow. Get the fuck out no, of No, I swear to God. Same thing with koala bears. That's why they, they eat a lot of eucalyptus. Are you kidding me? No, it's like it keeps them in a state of like 80% of their life. They're just stoned all the time. Amazing. Also. But which one of them has chlamydia? <laughs> Probably koalas. both of them. The no, koalas. the koalas. I don't know the koalas. Yeah. I remember. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, dude, what a weird... What a weird, well-known fact about a wild Why can't animal. We do Animal Planet voiceovers. We're doing an all right job right now. I think yeah. so. We're doing an okay. Give job. me an animal. I'll give you a voice. Oh Jesus! <laughs> we've officially we're hit that stage right. now. Level of we, we've officially hit that stage. Wait, that now, third one. You know how good I am at voices. Ostrich. The worst. <laughs> how good I am. The worst. Okay. <laughs> The absolute Is he worst. Is drawing or ostrich? Oh, he said ostrich? I don't know. I, I go, ostrich at the bank. Ostrich <laughs> at the bank. He gave you a... Oh, I'd like to make it the <laughs> Get the fuck <laughs> out of here. What was that? I figured it would be higher. I know I he's, be a higher he's dumb. Voice. It he's like, like the, oh, yeah, oh, that's the sloth. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's the sloth. No, I feel like the ostrich would be a little more high pitched. Yeah, sounded awesome. like the Jungle Book vultures at the end. The dumb one. I don't know. What do you want to do? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. What, give me a British accent. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready for mine? Let's hear. Okay. Give me a sentence. What do you want me to say? Um, not give me a topic. Give me your British <laughs> accent. No, I don't want your accent. I want your. Give me the sentence oh, shit. in American, and I'll say it in British. Go. Um. Hey, love. Would you like some tea? No, no, no. Don't, don't give me any help. No, that's how is that? <laughs> oh, you just right. like give you random, just like random things. The ostrich that? went to the bank and asked for an encyclopedia. By the way, a sentence I can remember, motherfucker. I'm pretty high. <laughs> What did you say? Is how, many, how many words was that? <laughs> Holy shit. Was that 74 words? <laughs> you know, did, you did you make sure you included every letter in the alphabet in that sense? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was the ostrich. Yeah. <laughs> an, ostrich walks, an ostrich walks into a bank. Try that. Okay. For what? You said give you a sentence of random words. Oh. That is indeed a random set of words for okay. you to try with a okay. British accent. Here we go, right? <laughs> that was the craziest shit ever. For what? <laughs> What's happening? Okay. Yo, my fucking face hurts so bad. Oh. Jesus Christ. Do you want to repeat the sentence? Yeah, you better. <laughs> <laughs> Just wanted to check. That checks out, right? That checks out, buddy, yeah, right? You know what you're doing. Okay. <laughs> An ostrich walks into a bank. An ostrich walks into a bank. Honestly? I mean, it been worse. I mean, it could have been that definitely like worse. A, really? It sounded like a... What's the motherfuckers from like Snatch and Lockstock? Oh, the fucking. Um, That's how you sounded. Like a scary well, British well, guy. Yeah, yeah, well, I know why you can do that. Because, do you want to tell them why you know how to do that? Oh, because of that audition. Oh my God. That's why you always, every time you go to a British accent, you kind of sound like a terrible Jack Sparrow. Do you remember <laughs> telling what I did to you guys in the van? He would bought like a four. But I got an audition. Tell him a. Yeah, you did get an audition. 
if was I right about the movie? It's it was for epic for movie. Epic. Remember the movie Epic movie that came out? It was one of those spoof movies, and it then, was yes it, about all the movies blended together. Yeah, yeah and yes. it was okay. And so I, there was a role for spoof Jack Sparrow, and I played am, a Cockney tape. I'm terrible at accents, so I went to when Samuel French was still a place in L.A., and I went and bought a CD that taught me Cockney. But when did I play it? Every time we got in the car. Oh, fuck. And it was nothing but that. My sister was like, it's cool. I'm learning too. And I'm like, Caitlin, shut up. <laughs> do you remember? Shut, the, shut up. Do this you is remember not good. Any of the, do you remember any of the lyrics from the... No. There were songs? No, no, it was just like a script that you would go over oh, and over okay, again that he gotcha. would play from the beginning every time. Yeah. And it was like a four minute... I heard to, I heard to ooze on the roof of the room. You know, one of those things. <laughs> it would play over and over. My daughter and I would look at each other and we'd say it to each other. We heard two who's in the oh, roof of the room. Fuck. And from the back seat, you'd hear him go, turn it off! <laughs> fucking hated that shit. <laughs> so this is another way you fuck with him. That was, but, but I was also trying to learn something. Yeah, and also in his defense, he did have an audition for the movie. So And I was terrible at accents. And there was no other place he could do it. And a lot of time he spent in the car driving us around. To yeah, because, activities. you know, who didn't want me to do it at the house, Beth. She was like, you know what? If it's between me being tortured and them, it's the kids. Um, it can't be the kids. You've always got to pick your own sanity. Which is fair. But it wasn't worth mine. <laughs> yeah, it was so okay. funny. Okay. It turned I, out all right. Yeah, Sorry, it was so funny. It really was funny. How much? Do you know when something's not a big deal, but then somehow it, it shifts gears, and then you're like, "When did this become a big deal?" <laughs> it became such a big deal to you that your sister, before we would get in the car, she'd be like, "We're playing the tape, right?" And I'd be like, oh, yeah, we're playing the tape. And she'd be like, good, that's really funny. I'm like, yeah, it drives him crazy. <laughs> He's still like, I hate that shit. But I was trying to get, dude, listen, how many times did I listen to that Pokemon CD? Hey, you know what? How many times did I listen to that Pokemon? It's also one thing he says that he knows he says it wrong and just tries to get a jump out of me. <laughs> The Pokemon. I saw how pissed you got when he said that. That Pokemon? The Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> I just sat there and ate it. Just sat there and ate it. He knew yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> but he's so smart. And he doesn't fall for that shit anymore. But you know, I'll tell you something right now, man. Like, this is my favorite. Traveling with him has changed, has made me like to, to travel again. Like, th this whole part of our lives where we're spending more adult time together is like crazy, crazy for me. Like crazy, crazy. Most people don't get to do it, you know? And sure. like genuinely, I just like hanging out with them. So Absolutely. It makes it super easy. Yeah. It's dope. Yeah, it is pretty. <laughs> and I pay, and I, and I pay you. I mean, yeah, but I, like, I, I used to do it for free anyway. That's too. true. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Kind of graduated to making some money. Yeah. Know? And he's like your bodyguard, your wellness officer. He does yeah, that. I he, make sure he does. Sure you need that? I do. Yeah, this I do, dude, he does I do his dummy checks of his hotel room. I'm like, do you forget anything? And he goes, Oh, no. yeah, all my chargers. And I'll just and go, my phone. And, I'll and just, my headphones. Yeah, I'll just go through everything and just find everything. I'm like, you missed a lot of things. Uh -huh. He really, like, yeah, in a, in a lot of ways, he's. Uh, besides, he's not booking it and all that stuff, but he does a lot of stuff a road manager would do, which is why I pay him. Because, Good shit. believe it or not, I, I don't have my shit together. <laughs> so... <laughs> you mean you don't personally coordinate with all the comedy clubs and book all your dates yourself? Yeah, it's a shocker, right? <laughs> Are you shocked by it? I've worked He's with driving him for years, you and I'm still shocked by the shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so, like, you know, he also, even when he's high, he he can keep shit together. Like, he really like. He's a he's a, a, a an adult, a logical adult. Yeah, you're doing. You're trying to say he's more mature. <laughs> Basically. He's definitely more mature. mature. <laughs> I don't know if he's more. I mature. wouldn't call it more mature. 
I picked my moments. Yeah, man, you're right, right time, right place. You know what I'm funny. saying? Like, like, I think you're a sniper. I think you're a sniper. <laughs> I like you that. Pick your spots. Uh-huh. I like it. and kill people. Yeah, you snipe <laughs> your jokes. You sniped a couple in here tonight, dude. Yeah, your snipers are couple couple one liners, couple couple shots from the hills. You know what I'm saying? Yo, those reaction videos you did are so funny. That was good. That was good. Let's hear that one. Oh, do it again, do it again, do it again. That's a great right time. Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, put your hands up! Don't do that one again! I didn't like that shit. Look how happy you made him though. Yeah, he genuinely. Yes. He genuinely oh, loved it. When he closed his eyes and he did that, I was like, please, Marty, for the love of God, play something really fucking loud. <laughs> I need him to think it's something and not be that. You know. Oh, dude, you know how cheeks you know how he likes to scare oh. me. Loud noises, fucking the car horn. Oh, when scary. I when I got dude, my the f- car horn scared. You know why car horns so scary? Death. Yeah, <laughs> like, don't get killed. Yeah, you're about to die. I have a video of you uh, when we drove you cross country to Nashville, and I was in that giant truck. I have a video of you and mom at the door, and me pulling on the the oh. wire and just going thump, and you just going ha, ah, just like getting a little quick jump. It's pretty great. He. Knows how easily I scare. Jazz hands. Yeah. He the knows. callback. So. That's what we started with. He definitely takes advantage of it. The car horn oh, yeah. is like. The car horn's <sighs> easy. I don't have to do anything. It's like when I'm dropping him off oh somewhere and God. not when he's getting in your, the car. It's your just, car alarm. Okay. When I was 17, or 17 or 18, my very first car was a was a 2004 Kia Rio. If you know what this, anything, if, to anyone listening, if you know what this car looks like, it's a literal tin can on wheels. Like, I got in a very slight fender bender with, like, a truck that had a hitch on the back. My whole f- my whole hood was, like, completely dented in. It had <laughs> engine problems after that. And I was like, and you were fine yesterday. Like, what's the deal? Um, and the one weird thing about it is it had the loudest lock and unlock sound. Mm-hmm. And it sounded like Tweety, like a Tweety bird. So I named him Tweety. And that's just what he was. And he, I could... And the range on the keys, I could, <laughs> yo, it could be on my street up. Like we lived on a property that had two two houses on it, but we lived at the back property and the front. There was a front property occupied by somebody else, and from my window, I could roll my window down or like uh, roll my window up in my room and listen outside, and I could lock and unlock my car from my bedroom window. Like it was, range was ridiculous. So we used to walk the dog together, and I would bring my keys with me. Just just for the sake of it. And every time, like, just on the comeback, and then we'd come in back, and it's like, we're just about to go inside on our street. Next driveway's up, and I just reach my hand into my pocket, and I hit the lock button. And it's just it scared it's, me every time. <laughs> because it's purely silent. Every and then time. there's just this loud car horn. Beep, beep. And it's just like, oh, my <laughs> fucking God. I, I remember here. one time. <laughs> I said out loud, I go, hey, man, car horn is not going to fucking work this time. And he beeped it, and it scared me anyway. <laughs> and I was like, son of a bitch. <laughs> it's just, it's so good. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was pretty fun. It's just, yeah, I scare pretty easily. You've That's had- the episode title. I scare pretty easily. <laughs> now, I'm not sure if you can tell that I've smoked any marijuana. Oh, what the fuck, Marty? I just wanna play a game Don't do that. You know how many people you scared in their room right now? <laughs> Don't you run away. <laughs> I, don't want that. I don't want that anywhere near me. That's pretty funny. People don't like you. People don't like you in their <laughs> room right now. You just fucked up hell of people. I don't think you understand what you just did to a lot of people. That's what I'm here for, folks. Oh. <laughs> nope. Don't like that one. Damn, Marty just... <laughs> that was scary than the fucking voice. Marty was like, stared at me. We got new sound effects, bro. You're right, good. This is a safe zone. No more. You're fine. <laughs> You're fine. You're fine. What are we at? Are we had three. We're way the fuck past what three. Are we, yeah. What, what are we, we at? at? Three. Three minutes. How long have we been here? What three sixteen. Three sixteen. Stone cold. Perfect. Let's do this, <laughs> guys. Let's end this. Hey, when are we starting the podcast? <laughs> uh, I'm starting to get some motherfucking...
Where you feel a little bit sick when the mushrooms get you. I started to feel a little bit. So You know what? Oh, God. That reminds me. Ugh. I think I might want some food. Yeah. Ugh. That's how I feel. Some, I you would. some cookies. What cookies? Are, I mean, you can always, always order DoorDash. But then you'd have to go down and get it. Actually, no, you can type in the room number and they'll drop it at your door. Dun, dun, dun. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get you there. Oh, my God. All right, let's... Do, oh, no. I can feel uh, it. I can feel it. So where can everybody... Oh. <laughs> so where can everybody <laughs> find... <laughs> the Josh. Uh, <coughs> show, <laughs> Josh. It passed. There it goes. Every time... Oh, these are about to hit me. Holy <laughs> what? Oh, the fuck? I always feel sick right before they hit me. Oh no. Where can't we find tickets to your show? Sorry, are you about to be super high? Um no. No more. These weren't I didn't need enough. Can I ask you a question? Go. What show are you talking about? Any shows you do. Oh, yeah. Right, right, yeah okay. Hey, you yeah. hey, hey, you do comedy for a living. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so it's right. at joshwolfcomedy.com. Comedianjoshwolf.com. Hey, Comedian everybody. Joshwolf. Comedianjoshwolf.com. Uh, Jacob will be with me in San Diego this weekend. Oh, yeah. this weekend? Oh, shit. What's the date? This weekend. No, what's the date? <laughs> <laughs> April 1st and 2nd. They, oh, the whole week. Oh, okay, cool. And it's, a fr- it's a Friday, Saturday. No show Sunday, right? Correct. No, it's a show Sunday. It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's oh. why I can't go to your mom's. Wow. My wife's getting honored. Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> that's that's not kidding. what he meant. That's not what he meant. <laughs> my wife. Um, my wife's get. I was going to tell you a story about why I know I have a Sunday night show, but it doesn't matter. It. My wife's getting honored, and it's amazing. She's an amazing filmmaker, but you don't want to hear the whole fucking story. <laughs> that's why I said it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to you. Right? Just yeah, no, I need. Yeah, 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 just keep, just keep talking. Just the way you Should I keep talking? <laughs> Here's what I really mean, guys. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just kidding. You're now fine. listen, right to the camera, get people who aren't married yet. This is what you're supposed to do. Keep talking about it because that way it's always going to be better. <laughs> the worst advice you no, heard. don't do that. Just say as few words as possible. Oh my God. So it's comedian <laughs> Josh Wolf. Comedian Josh Wolf. Josh Wolf. Wolf. for tour dates and tickets. And hey man, and we do a podcast called Hey Man with three A's. Where can you find that? Uh, on all platforms where you can listen to podcasts. Yeah, and uh, there's a YouTube channel, a Hey Man YouTube channel, if you want to watch all of them. Hey Man, so Hey M A A A N, three A's, correct? Okay. Yeah, H E Y M A A A. There might be an expl- explanation. For There's we'll, not uh, an exclamation. Drop a, we'll point. drop a link in the description for everyone out there that wants to check any of this out. The link is in the description of YouTube. If you're on Spotify, the link's in the description there, too. Whoa. That well, was, I'm trying to keep it together a little bit. I felt a little spacey for a minute. Yeah. I, I mean, hmm. I think I definitely am high. Uh, for sure. Yeah, you held yourself up on the microphone earlier. Yeah, I think That's I'm when you know it's definitely. there. And, and I definitely... Zoned out only three times, so I'm excited to see how that looks on camera. Where I was like, and I'm back, and people are still talking. Cool. Oh, <laughs> I, I know the feeling. <laughs> Where you're like, and people, the conversation, nobody's staring at me. Got it. Back Not in on the, the groove. with people surrounding snuck me. Snuck or snuck right in. Back in the groove. Landed the plane. Nobody was looking. Yeah. So I wonder <laughs> if there'll be a shot of me just like this. I hope. No, there, there was a time where he was doing that. I looked at you and went, Yo. you were doing that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. But listen. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm right as rain now. All right. So ready. You never heard that saying? Right as rain. Never heard that? No. Comedianjoshwolf.com oh, for tour dates. San Diego. Um, Sacramento. Uh, St. Louis. Austin, Texas. Nashville, Tennessee. Baltimore, Maryland. All right, so we can just check that on the website, I or you could just go to that comedian. You just remembered all of that. That was comedian Josh. Hey, that was actually pretty good. Yeah, that, that was amazing. amazing. Got that as well. That's my job, dude. 
That's my job, dude. 40 seconds ago? Fuck that job. I was high, but I'm back. Yeah, but did listen. You got me talking about my job. It's time to sober the fuck up. We're good. Fair enough. I, I, I feel very, I feel like it got me brighter. Like I feel a little more alert. It hit me a little bit more, but not in a bad way. That it sickness. That stand up. No, the sickness. Once it passes, I'm there. I'm good. It's just like it hits me for a minute. Well, those mm. were fun. They weren't too, too strong. No, not at all. And they're ni- they're nice and they're chill. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna enjoy watching. YouTube, we're not doing any anything. All right, we just took some supplement, <laughs> drank some. Oh, yeah, we took on. <laughs> all right, uh, thank you guys so much for being here. We've been here for over three hours. Jesus Christ! <laughs> thank you. It's just thank you. the Godfather episode. <laughs> It was one hell of an episode. I honestly don't remember much of what we talked about. I was just no. fucked up the whole time. Did we? Marty is. Oh, it's not. That camera's not on. Oh, is that one on? <laughs> yeah. Are we still on? <laughs> hey, Marty. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think it's just a battery change. Oh, all right. Well, hey, listen. Thanks for your input on all the. <laughs> yeah, thanks for digging about us some ditches. Yeah, I did. I really appreciate you. Appreciate ditch. it. Thank you for that. You for should everything. do a segment on here just called Marty. Take it away. <laughs> I like that. I just start throwing Marty topics. He doesn't yeah, know what right. I'm going to say. Right Marty, take it away. Marty, you got to take it away. Oh, I love that. I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to talk about either. Yeah. <laughs> just see Horrible you. shit. Yeah. yeah, Marty, you got to from here. You with this. Yeah, Marty, you got to from here. Take it away. Oh, I like that. Marty, take it away. <laughs> That's good shit. We have a, where's that soundboard at? Uh-huh. Just crickets. Yeah. Oh man. Do you have like a news station, like a like a breaking news sound? Beep 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 beep. beep. Is that too old? I got a cricket. That's like telegram That's our shit. Yeah. yeah. What oh. would be breaking news? What would be breaking? Da, 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 da. Yeah. Breaking news type of shit. I think. I mean, what's your breaking news sound? Oh, Jesus. oh you definitely got it. <laughs> I mean, you're fucking making people's oh, nights in their room the worst. Okay, dude. Blame that on Marty, guys. For real, one tear just came out of my butthole. That's how scared <laughs> I am. I saw the whole. Yeah, that was like I, I sit up, it. I shook down, I shook to the side. I did the whole hokey pokey in like under half a second. Funny <laughs> <laughs> fucking explosion. God, <laughs> Sam, that was like a fucking. <sighs> All right. Oh, here we go. Holy shit. Guys, thank you both for being here. Thank you so much for having us. This is one of the few times we've ever had two guests on at once. Good and week. this is fun. This was great. Thank it, you guys. I want to, I want to, uh, when you in, in town, I want to do you guys a show also. So whenever you guys have time, that would be fun. That would be amazing, actually. That would be Absolutely. fun. Yeah, you could be our, our very first guest. Oh, shit. Okay. I like like he that. was for us. I didn't th- oh, yeah, you were our first guest. That's yeah. right. You were the second episode. Oh, we did a solo the first, and you were the first. Yes, I forgot about oh, that. Shit. Wow. That was in the other room. Yeah. That was in the other room. Good shit. Well, anyway, we'll, we'll figure it out, but, but they can was, watch it. Hey, man, everything's linked in the descriptions. And comedianjoshwills.com. We talked about it. Like, I know, but I'm back on it. Yep. We got it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for being a designated driver. Always have a designated driver. Guys. Always. Be safe. Right. And that's one to grow on. <laughs> the more you know. Need that sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Need that. All right, Marty. Thank you so much for sitting through this. Thank you. My fucking face. I know. Hurts. My forehead fucking hurts from laughing, dude. Yeah. But I haven't eaten cool. food in me like neither. eight hours. Right. So maybe that's why, too, the mushrooms got me a little. But this was fun. Thank you for being. That's it was there. A ton of fun. That's there. <laughs> That's what I know you're back to. <laughs> He's just looking at me. <laughs> there was no expression. <laughs> <laughs> there was no expression. <laughs> 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 Oh, Oh, that's so true. (laughs) 
<laughs> I can feel it. I was like, why is my face like my face isn't working for a second? <laughs> Muscles gave up and it just went lit. <laughs> I swear to God, that was the craziest. <laughs> oh, oh Jesus. Yo, fuck. <laughs> uh, once again, <laughs> let's end this again. <laughs> All right, he's crying. I'm crying. That's the perfect time to end it. Uh, All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks Thank for you. being here. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, for Later. everyone out there, this has been the Dope As Usual podcast. Have a dope ass day. Are you fucking kidding me? I hope you got that face. Oh, <laughs> Zoom in on that oh, fucking yeah, face. Oh, His whole brain oh, stopped for a second. My, I can feel it. Like, what's happening? You never done that? No. That's crazy. What does it feel like? That's fucking insane.